Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? We are back with another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the entire world. In the world, Craig. In the world. In the world, in the world. Craig. <laughs> Lee yes, I'm, I'm your co Oh, I'm sorry. I'm your host, mm-hmm. Big Jai, along with my co-host. Tony Eloise. Tony Eloise! <laughs> Tony Eloise! Tony Eloise! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah! That's hilarious. Tony Eloise, mm-hmm. and we're here with a special, a very special guest. Um, she is the talented and the beautiful and the mesmerizing Oh, Ashley, stop it. <laughs> Ashley Chestang, mm-hmm. aka Yammy Tammy. Yammy <laughs> Tammy, Tammy. <laughs> yes, indeed. I hey, go. I, I don't know if you've been reading any of the of the, of the comments, man. So for those who recognize her, she was Yammy Tammy uh-huh. in uh, my my web series uh, Cuddle Season. Yeah, uh, she uh, murdered that. <laughs> Thank that was you. very fun. Thank uh, you. And folks, folks loved you in it. As they, they calling should. me that now. I'm like, Man. oh, this is my new nickname. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. And so I've been saying it for this. This is the first time in the uh, in the actual project I put a character as that name. For I've real? been saying it for years. Nice, mm-hmm. right? So now, like, oh, this is. So, <laughs> even before episode five, mm-hmm. folks were like, man, what, what does she look like? Right. Who was going to be? Yeah. And that door opened and they said, oh, shit. Oh, man. she did okay. not disappoint. Yeah, Thank man. you, guys. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just for the record, for those who don't know, we shot that scene twice, two different days, yes. maybe two or three weeks apart. Yes. And uh, because I lost some of the footage. Uh-huh. Um, all I, of your coverage. I lost all my coverage. <laughs> and she didn't want to do it again. You did it. I did it. Didn't I did you, it. Of course. I was like, dang, the first take I thought was so good because of my body. That's right. why I was like, oh, I ain't got, I ain't bloated. Like, I look good. The abs was popping through. So I was like, ah, oh, I wanted it because of that. But. When we did it again, it, it was, actually was better. It was. My hair was more laid. Man. Everything was just, it was more natural because I knew the, knew the lines knew better this time. Yeah, so it was super yeah. quick, fast. Mm-hmm. Um, but, this for the, but the first one was perfect, too. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and yeah. that's when you liked the most good. initially. Yeah. And so now I it worked I like the slow-mo. Out. I think it was just the slow-mo, the slow-mo. I liked okay. more. But yeah, other yeah. than that, like, when we actually did the lines, mm-hmm. uh-huh. I liked that take better. So oh. you chose, you chose good. And the slow-mo was... On point, you yes, did that. Yes, so yes, yeah, yes. that was fun. Good times, good times. Well, uh, yeah. thank you for blessing us with your presence on this. Thank mm-hmm. you guys for having mm-hmm. me. I, I I definitely need uh, this. The movie we're doing today, you got to have a beautiful woman in the room, and you're you are that. Thank you. So uh, let me let them know what this is. This is the day we're, we're going to review my very favorite rom. Every man's favorite. My favorite film. <laughs> the best. Um. It's a rom com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. And uh, it's Boomerang. 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 Every man's favorite movie. Eddie Murphy. Come on. Uh-huh. Robin Givens. Mm-hmm. Robin Givens. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell. David Allen Greer. David Allen Greer. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Chris Rock. Rock. Come on. Yeah. Man. John Witherspoon. Yeah. Come on. All man. of the greats. It's Leela mm-hmm. Rashawn. Eartha yeah. Kitt. Eartha Kitt. <laughs> yes. You know? Eartha Kitt. Yeah. Yes. Come on, man. Everyone. Yes. <sighs> Directed by. Greats. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ensemble cast. Yeah. Reginald Hudlin is the director. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Barry W. Blaustein, David Sheffield, Eddie Murphy mm-hmm. wrote it, wrote the film. And it stars Eddie Murphy, Robin Givens, and Halle Berry. Mm hmm. This is Eddie Murphy. To me, this is peak Eddie Murphy. Mm. This is Eddie Murphy at the top of his powers, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We love all of Eddie mo- Eddie's movies, yeah. But he's as handsome as he's ever been oh in gosh. this movie. She was he's as charismatic as he's right. ever yes. been. Right. His funny Lost. is effortless. Yes. He don't even have to work that hard no. to to be funny. This mm-hmm. is leading man. Denzel Washington, yeah. Eddie Murphy in this movie. Facts. He was smooth. He's incredible. I don't. I don't think there's a better Marcus Graham out there. No one could no. play it. No. No one could play it. No. He no. was. The, the, you just said he was everything. He was the charm. Yes. He was the humor. He was the uh, suave. Yeah. He had everything. Yeah. And uh, it was casted to the T. Yeah. It was casted perfectly. Yeah. Um, he really I, did that, and I, I feel like. Especially when you're a comedian, it's hard to take you serious. Mm-hmm. But we actually took him yes. very serious. Yes. Right. 
very right. serious in this movie. The world and this and this black excellence. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Everybody. It's a whole black was universe. Right. Yeah. Everybody Everything black. was black. <laughs> Everything, Everything is black. Uh-huh. So it's, it's it's my favorite film rom com. And before I was I was when I was a kid, I don't even think I was using the word rom com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The phrase rom com, but like Eddie Murphy yeah. movie. It's a, it's a comedy, right? But it's, it's it's a romantic comedy, and it's the best, mm-hmm. and it's the best, like hands down. After watching it, I tried to like think of what other movie could compare, mm-hmm. and no one, no other black rom com comes close. Right. Right. Like if you t- like, maybe someone throws Brown Sugar out there. Right, good movie, yeah. but like love does Sugar. not yeah, measure mm-hmm. up to Boomerang. No, no. no. right, like it, like Best Man, Best good Man. movie, oh, great yeah. movie, doesn't measure up to mm-hmm. to Boomerang. Yeah. Like no. Boomerang is head and shoulders. Yes, it above it's, it's everything. classy funny. Yes, mm-hmm. it's classy funny. It's hood funny. I don't yeah. feel like I feel like Rob, um, uh, Marcus Graham, played by Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. was uh, a black. Ad exec. Ad exec. Yeah. Marketing exec. Marketing exec. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very successful. Makes a lot of money. And his homeboys are black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His his the women he likes are black. Mm-hmm. Everybody you know in the office yeah, is that's black. True. Everybody yeah, in the that's office true. is black. Everybody. All women. A yeah. lot of women. Yeah. yeah. So and this is what and they had women of all shades in here. Yeah. You know? So mm-hmm. it, it just natural and, beauty. And it, I, it's so many things I can say about this film. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We'll start. Let me just start off by saying Eddie Murphy plays Marcus Graham, the main character. He's a, a black, successful ad exec, marketing mm-hmm. exec, mm-hmm. and whore, and man whore, <laughs> and man whore, and man whore. <laughs> ladies man, man ladies man, man whore. He's a ladies man. Yeah. Sure. yeah, you know he's a ladies. What's man. the difference between what's the difference between a ladies man and a man whore? Okay, so all right, let me get to the characters. <sighs> yeah, all right. So okay. we got Marcus. Uh, Oh, Played by Eddie Murphy. That's a good, that's a good we got uh, his be- his two homeboys. He has lunch with, and they work in the same de- the same um, for the same firm, okay. different departments. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gerard, playing by David. Gerard, lets you know the different types of black <laughs> men in this film. Yeah. The different types of black men in this film mm-hmm. is Tyler Martin Lawrence's character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He plays Tyler. Yeah, he works in the building as well. Different department. Mm-hmm. So does Gerard, David Allen Greer. Different departments, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, they might work on the same floor though, but I think Marcus works. They all the work for the floor. same agency, yeah. right? They're all in the same and agency, so, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all making good money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're all successful. Tyler, if he was getting buns, he mm-hmm. would be a male whore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it, but yeah. his approach to but women, he wasn't getting buns. He right. wasn't he, at all. They was calling him out. You the most non ass getting nigga. Ass getting. Nigga. You know what I mean? Like you know. Hey, what you get? Yeah. I, I get ass. Man. Yeah. Tyler, no. Tyler yeah. not getting buns because he don't got no tact. No tax. Yeah, David ain't thirsty. getting Gerard ain't getting buns. He don't have no swag. Because he no don't have no swag. swag. Right. 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 Um, Marcus is getting all the buns. All yeah. the buns. He has all the swag. Has all the tact. Mm-hmm. And and he's a ladies' man. And he's getting all the buns all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. So much so that that even I'm jumping ahead, but when we get to Thanksgiving. And yeah. uh, Gerard's mom goes, oh, she looked like one of Marcus' girls. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Like, even Gerard's mom knows Man. <laughs> the work that, that Marcus wow. be putting in. Yes, but it bro. goes back yeah, to my, know, to my original question. Uh-huh. Is he a ladies' man or is he a man whore? How do, like, a, how do you a, define? A, 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 a male whore is, in my opinion, is the man that has a bad track record. The women can't stand this nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. they can't. He's a terrible person. Mm-hmm. I hate him. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Yeah, and yeah. he'll smash As anything. A, right, right, yeah, right. Any and everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A ladies' Sanders. man. A ladies' man is like he, he's suave with it. Yeah. He's more like he make it seems like he care, mm-hmm. even if he exactly. really doesn't. Roses. He's snipping, <laughs> it, <laughs> snipping <laughs> the tulips. And then he, then he let him go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Man, yeah. snipping the so, tulips. Cool. And even so, they do a great job of expressing that or showing that he's a ladies' man by the beginning. He's yeah. When when having lunch, he's not a pushover. Mm-hmm. He's uh, um and uh, he's he's manipulative. Yes, he We're is. Talking about Lila, Mich- Lila Rashawn. Yes, but before oh, we get yeah. to that, mm-hmm. um, he walks through the office. It shows you that he's the man. Like, yeah. oh, this whole building mm-hmm. is full of women. Yeah. They all, hey, Marcus. They all hey, flirting with him with their with their yeah. hellos and yeah. with their mm-hmm. eyes. 
and he's walking past him. How you doing? They all want him. Mm-hmm. He's, got his, he's got his hey you. He has yeah, his, but even listen hey to you. the way he was like, yeah, he's like, hey you, yeah. hey cute, hey, hey cuteness. Hey, hey cuteness. Dude, hey, cuteness. Hey, yeah. yeah, the way yeah. he talks to them. Yeah, he's just a, he's a ladies mm-hmm. man makes because he makes them feel makes seen. Makes them see. Mm-hmm. Come on, look. Yeah. Uh, see. <laughs> this is why we need. <laughs> this, is, this is why we need. I've been blind. <laughs> and, and this is why we need a woman here for that because a a male whore is will have you have you feeling like trashy after dirty yes. like uh, yeah. dirty you know what I'm saying as opposed to mm-hmm. like you, I can see a, a Marcus Graham sleeping with a woman two or three times and then losing interest like he says yeah. and then going the separate ways and she still wants him yeah and he still sent her flowers when are you gonna call me call me right yeah and when he and the only time you have a problem with him is when he just shuts you out altogether yeah like the neighbor Tisha Campbell's yeah. character yeah you know what I'm saying okay that was my question I was trying to figure that that out did they even have yeah. sexual relations? Mm-hmm. They, they didn't. didn't. No. They didn't. He said we hung out one time. It was, it was whack. It was whack. Mm-hmm. It was your fault. It was your fault. Mm-hmm. This one and somebody that was else. it. Like so, I don't even think they even. And that's why she so pissed he, off. Ooh, mm-hmm. You know what? He he made a right decision because if she going crazy, yeah. and right. she ain't even get none. Right. Imagine what it would have been it, like it, if it, she would have got. In. Yeah. Right. So so when she yeah. was like, "You about my size, my height, my weight, doggy style," <laughs> right? Like you know, bar. <laughs> so, so I felt like that was evidence right. that they had slept together. So That's here. why I was a little confused. Yeah, I was you know, to figure that out. Okay, okay. So it's not they, it's not implicit, Ooh. but we know something happened. Between you know what? Them. I'm sorry, but when, but when she when she I says how did. he's gonna how he's gonna what? sleep with you. And, uh, and based upon how like he slept you did with me, me like right? That's me. what I was mm-hmm. thinking. Yeah, so he probably did smash. And yeah. chances are, smash. maybe he was saying chances that was are, whack. Yeah, that was when he was went like, out once. He... And mm-hmm. for someone like Marcus Graham, going yeah. out with Marcus Graham usually means sex after. And, and you know what I'm saying? And the right. thing, and the True. thing is, is, uh, is that like, why wouldn't Marcus sleep with her? Of course he did. But you right, know right? Like, a, like, she... a, of course he did. That makes sense because I'm, I'm sorry, the actress in the beginning with the dog that was walking the dog. Yeah. She seemed a little ditzy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But yes. he yeah. still had Christy. relations Christy. with her, mm-hmm. even though she was like, eh, yeah. you know, ditzy. Come here. Gold da-da-da-da. star for Marcus. He had right. to have her. He had Dinner to was have yummy. <laughs> Dinner was yummy. <laughs> hey, bruh. You had to. Oh for Marcus. Bro, the movie was, the movie from the beginning, there was no stale moments, bro. Mm. No. There was no stale moments. They, this shit is they working. They were having lunch. It's working. And he saw Lily Rashawn walking in yeah. the courtyard mm-hmm. outside the restaurant. Yeah. I have to have her. Yeah. You know, so he had, and he got her. He mm-hmm. used a tactic. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I get that. He used a tactic. Yeah. Like most, With the dog? He yeah. Tra- he Kirby? Really? He Kirby? created an opportunity. <laughs> Kirby! Yes. <laughs> Did you lose yeah. your dog? Yeah. Yeah. You lose your dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little, we said uh, uh, English yeah. Spaniard yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he she created played. an opportunity. Right. And yeah, so, she did. And, and she then, fell for it. And yep. then she took the bait. She took the bait. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, she's at his apartment mm-hmm. or his his penthouse. But he, but, but to Let's go. Let's talk about that. I'm sorry. But before we go there, this is how much game he has. Yeah. Able to quickly read what she's passionate about. Yes. Yeah. He could tell by the breed of dog that she yes. had, the matching fur <laughs> matching that, that they had. Yeah. He knew that that was the way to get her get to pay her. attention. Yeah. It ain't working out. It's not yeah. art. Yeah. It's it, not music. It wasn't your beautiful. It's the dog. Yeah. It was the dog. Yeah. He yeah. knew that like that. That is her passion oh. point. That's my opportunity. Mm-hmm. Quickly deciphered that. And right. created an opportunity for himself. Dang. And here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Some people might feel like it's manipulation, and it is, mm-hmm. but she he put himself in position for her That's to what pursue I'm him sexually. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. anything after that is not like, oh, yeah. oh not you led me on. Right, mm-hmm. right. You blah blah. He he, gained, he used so much game to where she was like, I want this dude tonight. Yeah. yeah. And so even how <laughs> even when they had dinner at his house. Uh-huh. And then he was like, oh, no, let me take you home. Yeah. And then she's like, come on in. And he was like, oh, I probably should. I can't come oh, to your house. I should. Come on. That's the... <laughs> he is amazing <laughs> in that moment. Yes. When he comes... Oh, are we here by ourselves? Uh, are we alone? Are we alone? <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, you no, know, it's amazing. PGF2. Yeah. Now, amazing when he in that was, moment. When they were eating dinner, mm-hmm. and she was like, dinner was yummy. How do you want to cook like that? <laughs> yeah. You know, um, you, you, you'd be surprised what you can pick up on yeah. when you're alone as much as I am. You're running game. <laughs> you're running game. Yeah. He lying. He's he lying. lying. He's lying. The wedding. He lying. The, the wedding. Wife, the wife. Huh? He, remember, he was like, he was uh, Nigga. Yeah, with the best man. Yes, I was, yes. And the priest. I was, I was engaged to be married. The priest. Yeah. The best man. She said. Yeah. Right. Right. 
right. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? I see a sad a little sad boy little named, named Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> and he's been hurt. <laughs> No, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's he, too perfect. It's, it's too perfect. perfect. It's too perfect. Oh, my God. It's too perfect. So, <laughs> but that was his way of getting at her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By having her get at him. Yeah. The yeah. way he did Robin, um, Jacqueline's character was mm-hmm. different. Well. He knew that she was too sharp. Yeah. To pull those things. She called him out from she the jump. From the jump when he tried yeah. right. to use one of those tactics. Uh-huh. But see, here's... Like, she pointed at something. We're going to get into Jacqueline probably yeah. right now. But, like, my position is he never won. Jacqueline was never his conquest. No. He was hers. He was hers. Right. Here's the thing. She, he, but she told him. She says, I, if, if you were, if I was trying to seduce you, you'd know it. you know it. Yeah, no, hold on. Wait a minute. Because even that got me as a woman. I'm like, I know that's right, girl. Mm-hmm. She was just so smooth with it. She was like, when I seduce... No, she was like, if I decide to seduce you, mm-hmm. when I decide uh, to seduce you, yeah. you know. I'm like, Man, I, she's... Girl, I know that's right. She's better than Marcus at everything. Mm. At everything. At everything. She had something for everything he had. She, he, mm. Not like every she, twist and turn, she was there. She's two, a three twist and turn. She's a home. more. Yeah. She's a more accomplished professional yes. than mm. than Marcus. She's his mm. boss, so she's already. So she's better at work mm-hmm. than he is. Mm. She's better at deciphering at he is. She's yeah. better at manipulation mm. than he is. She's better mm. at, at cutting off. At cutting at off. Cutting off. Than, her her yeah. cutoff game, game is stronger than his. Yeah. She mm. was crazy by far. Yes. You're not catching feelings. What'd she catch, say? She you're, said, you're not, you're you're not, not catching catch feelings. You're not catching feelings, right? Yeah. She said, what? Yeah. No. Oh, I told what? you I told you what it was from the beginning. Yeah. She told him. She when said When she it. cut this fool off, yes. <laughs> when he was talking about, you know, I put a little rosemary. And you know what I mean? She was like, <laughs> she was she like, was can, like I, can I go watch the game? She was like, I'm sorry. The Knicks are on. The Knicks are on. The Knicks are on. My mind was somewhere else. Like, what? Yeah. Hey, Marcus, would you give me a beer? Oh yeah, give me a beer. No, she yeah. sunned him like yeah, yeah. And, and it was so necessary. And so to answer your question, you say why do men love this movie so much? Yeah, this this is I'm a, every I'm a man's whole man. favorite movie, mm-hmm. and is. I want to know why. For the good and the bad, for, mm-hmm. for for the fact that he was such a player, he was yeah. such the man, mm-hmm. and that he got played. Yeah, I loved yeah. seeing him go through that yeah. uh-huh. that turmoil of being rejected. Uh-huh. Excuse me, being put on, being put on the back burner mm-hmm. serves you right, bro. Mm-hmm. He got a taste of his own medicine, uh-huh. tri- double, triple dose. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, I, and I love seeing it because a lot of times it's how you bounce back. Mm-hmm. But right. I mean, there's so many different things about this film. Listen, this movie is everything. And everything, bro. Mo- I work in advertising now. That's yeah. my profession, uh-huh. right? I'm not. I, I don't direct or act like you guys. Right. Mm-hmm. I work in advertising now. And why do I work in advertising? Because Marcus Graham worked in advertising. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't doubt that. Either. That's why I went into the advertising and marketing oh, business. Oh, my gosh. Because Marcus Graham did. Hey, I wanted to dress not, like Marcus yeah, Graham. That's his, I wanted to have homies like yes. Marcus Graham. I had to fly apartment like I Marcus Graham. I was about Graham. to say, every yeah. guy talks about the apartment, yeah. the bachelor's pay. I learned how to cook everyone talks like about Marcus that. Graham. Yes. I, yes. Man, yeah. like, I I basically, kept, because I had never, you got to understand, I had never seen anything no. like Marcus yeah. Graham we yeah. seen on the screen. Street yeah. dudes in the movies. we seen yeah. the detectives. Yeah. we yeah. seen yeah. funny Heroes. niggas. we seen, yeah. a, you know, astute, you know, epically black men. Right. I had never seen this yeah. a, fly, smooth, a fly ass fly, dude. Right. Professional. Right. Man, like, he, yeah. this, it was like super classy mm. on the classy. screen. Mm. Yeah. You're right. Ooh. Like, really cool. quick question mm-hmm. to go back to when you was like, what's a, you said a man whore versus what was the? A ladies man. A ladies, a ladies man. man. A prime example, I feel like, would be um, how to be a player. Remember how to be mm-hmm. a player? Yes. And this. Yep. Those yes. Are t- that, that is a good way <laughs> yes. to determine, Bill Bellamy, to differentiate uh, the two. Uh, yes. His name was, uh, what was his name? Uh, Bill Bellamy's um, name on the. Was uh, it? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, but that's a prime. Yes, no, that's, that's a good sh- example right yes. there. Mm-hmm. He was a man. He was a man. Man whore. whore. Yep. And, and, and Marcus 
is um as a ladies man. They have man. have a lot of the same qualities. Yes. Like he even their cool... pet, even his bachelor's pet, his right. pet. Mm-hmm. It, it was nice. But he was foul with the picture changing and everything. Yeah. Oh man. Do you got this wild. one on your you might need to have that one on there. Oh yeah, it's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely that's on the a classic movie. How to be a player is yes. one of our movies as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um that was you a got good it, movie. you found it? Yeah, I got mm-hmm. it. It's coming up right now. Uh-huh. Drayton Jackson. Drayton. Drayton. Drayton, what's his name? Drayton. On how to be a player? Yeah. I don't know if he had a nickname. Oh, Dre. 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 Mm-hmm. So I remember I remember Dre. the girl said, Dre, you son yeah. of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dre. yeah. <laughs> yes. Dre was super. Yes. He was a player. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh ladies men. Yeah. Are way more suave. They have more couth. Yeah, they mm-hmm. have more more uh, polished game. Mm-hmm. And look at this. He got caught up. Yes, this Marcus mm-hmm. didn't. Well, except for like yeah, with the Halle part. But mm-hmm. when you like that, yeah, you, it gets too messy. Yeah, right. You can't keep up. Right. Mar- he yeah. knew. He knew. Like, can you send a letter, a rose to such and mm-hmm. such, such and such, such and such, such and such? Mm-hmm. Oh, there was something I was forgetting. Yep. Call her up, and he talked his way out of that with yep. her. Yes. Yep. Oh, with the girl you, on the phone. Did you watch the news? Oh, it's oh, a big, it's oh a big... look, it just went off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I got, I got caught up me. in that. I got caught up in yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Massage. Massage. Yeah. Massage. Oh, that sounds fly. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. It's great. Right. Yeah. Right. And he was Marcus Graham. Mm-hmm. He was Marcus Graham. Like, this is this is what superheroes do. Yeah. Right? Like, like he ran himself tight. Like, I don't feel like he was a... I don't feel like he was a bad person. No. He's a liar. Yeah. So yes. you know, so so then that just begins that debate. Mm-hmm. Like, can somebody be a good person and also be a liar? Mm. It's part of the game, you know. So, Ooh. speaking of such, mm-hmm. man whore. Um, his name was uh, Darnell, and um, and uh, thin line between love and hate. Thin line between love and hate. Yeah, he was a thin. Yes. He, he was a man whore. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm yeah. There so, you go. Because he would say stuff like he would smash and then call a homie on the phone, like bro, I'm downstairs. Right. Mm-hmm. I smash, bro. Mm-hmm. Marcus Graham, like, too classy on, for that. Come on, come on man. Too don't classy. Be, don't he be, like, oh, it was great, be, but her feet was just, yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. Don't be that. crass. He, and, and, don't be crass. <laughs> he loved using that word, crass. Um, he was just way more. Yeah. Like, them bitches. Well, well, Why are you doing that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, Marcus says two important things. He says, I'm looking for perfection. Yeah, he did say right? that. So I get, so a part of it is just like I'm gonna be out here dating and do it until I find right. what I want. Like so I'm yeah. so I'm, I'm looking for perfection. And then when he falls for Jacqueline, mm. he was like, She could be the Miss Graham. And he yeah. was serious. And he was serious about it. Mm. He, was he was serious. He was serious about it. Mm. And I, I, I'm not mad at that. Jacqueline um, says you really know how to move your ass. Dang. Strong Which goes which goes to my to, to oh my, my guy gosh. Nelson. We gotta we gotta talk about my man Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nelson, Nelson's a, a, is all right. So unbelievable, unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. So, Taking the so basically, me. Marcus Graham, played by Eddie Murphy, is a, an exec, um, and he's a he's a, a ladies' man. Right. Mm-hmm. So he just he's a player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He li- he's living his best life. He has ladies player. He has a. a a great apartment, has mm-hmm. his own money, mm-hmm. great clothes, he has a great wardrobe, mm-hmm. right. and he's he's very a very manicured and put together man. Very yeah, together. and so even his homeboys are not as put the, put together as him, and he's trying to game them up on how mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. better ladies men. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, so he he runs across. We see the situation with Layla Rashawn's character, Christy, mm-hmm. and see how he moves, and he's he's looking for perfection. Her yeah. feet were kind of bumpy. Had a little a couple corn yeah, yeah, yeah. bunions mm-hmm. on it, and so he stopped talking to her because of that. Yeah, yeah, you know. And is that is that wrong of him? No, no. It's and I, I thought about no. it. I was like, it's not. He said it. Like you know, he he does all these things, and he it just so happened he loses interest after having sex with right. them. And right. it seems like feet is a big thing. Yeah, yeah. To but him. it it, it mm-hmm. could be anything. Like going back to like dating days, it could be like. Especially when you don't know what you're doing yet, and you're mm-hmm. trying to figure the littlest thing, yeah, mm-hmm. like the way she sneezes, right. and that'd be enough to like, you okay, know, everything yeah, else cool. can be awesome. That annoys me, but a like bit. she sneezes funny, you know what I mean? Like you know, or 
you know, no. like she's got I'm a vein sorry. in her forehead or something like that. Like, a like vein? little shit. Like I just that. thought about, I'm sorry. This is like, I don't know if you ever heard what people be like, they'll watch a porno and it's mm. like, you'll watch the porno, but then after you get your, your nut mm-hmm. off, you're like, what is this mess that oh, I'm yeah. watching? What is this filth? <laughs> I, I hate yeah. myself. Yeah. I hate it here. I hate it I, here. Yeah. I call it. The, the, Maybe the, it's the same uh, for yeah. him. Right. <laughs> the, it is. The shame drain. The, right? strain, the shame drain. <laughs> even, oh, after you shoot off, yeah. you like, you like, I got to go to church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I need to rededicate. Do I like her that much? Yeah. Right. yeah. You, know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I like Before the lunch tone. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> you missed your class job again. <laughs> God damn it. You missed your, 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 yeah. your social. Your, your Before social, lunch. Yeah. Again. Your ethnic oh. studies class. So um, nah, you're right. Uh, he, <laughs> he loses interest quickly. And that's, uh. It's a problem when you when you get when you have the woman invested in you. Right. I think this character, Christy, she was a chick that was professional too. She had a nice apartment. It was mm-hmm. cool. It wasn't fancy, but it was it was, mm-hmm. it was clean. Nah, but um, she was childish. All the stuffed animals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the stuffed animals. So was, like, it kind of show. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't yeah. get over that. The knock knock. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like they wouldn't have worked any yummy. <laughs> and the fact, yeah, yummy. Yeah. And she and so they they made her a, be- a beautiful bimbo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bimbo. So, Right, so mm-hmm. you don't stick with those. Yeah. And, and and it's not that she gave the buns up the first night. She did, because you yeah. can still be a winner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in, oh, she gave it up easy. Oh, yeah, she no. Gave it up, yeah. We gave it up easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's still solid. But it was everything else. She yeah. was. Yeah. She couldn't see the game being ran on yeah. her. Yeah. And he was like, on top of that, she had hammer time on her shoe. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool. And yeah. I almost and feel I don't like think she would be mad at that. She'd be like, oh, yeah. he's hurting. He's still healing. He's not so ready. Yeah. He's not ready. He's I understand. Ready. Yeah. So he's not a bad guy in yeah. that regard. And she no. wasn't easy. Like, I feel like she would have turned down nine out of 10 right. advances. Right. He just happened to. Hone in on the dog. Yes. <laughs> like whoever, like whoever she ends up with, she meets him at the dog park or at yes. the groomer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like that is her, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? She was going to walk past. Mm-hmm. Right. If you think about it, every other woman in this movie, damn near like 99% of the women always do a double take when Marcus is on screen. Mm-hmm. Not her. Whether they like walking down the block or they in the office or whatever, everybody even when it was eating, eating lunch. She wasn't double taking at all. Right. She was walking right past him. It wasn't until the curb, Kirby Curbster, yes. that she even gets his attention. <laughs> That's why she was she, her attention was mm-hmm. was gotten because yeah. Curbster, yeah. Yeah. Kirby, yeah. nope, Curb, <laughs> Kirby, yeah. yeah so and that was, was a that dog. Was her end. Dinner was yummy. Yeah. Dinner was yummy. <laughs> Go scare little Marcus. boy. Yeah, yeah. But when he runs into Jacqueline. But he runs in a Jacqueline. Wrong woman. Yeah. yeah. About business. All yeah. of his tactics. He usually she saw it a mile away. She's unimpressed. Work. Right. Yeah. So he uh he's 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 as soon as he sees her, he's on her head. On her. He tough. wants her, he wants yeah. her, he wants her. She knows this. Mm-hmm. She, she even sees him looking at her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Here we go. Uh-huh. And she kn- right. Oh, she didn't know who he was. No, Once she, she said didn't it, know who she was like, oh no. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a big fan. Yeah, right, right, right. But guess what? I'm a big fan, and you yeah. still ain't getting up. But it was professional. Right. When I it was like, right. I'm a big fan of your work. Yeah, right. of your work. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm your boss. Yeah. Ooh. My boss? No, no. Yeah. yeah. Lady Eloise told me personally, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the position. Lady mm-hmm. Eloise is just a figurehead. <laughs> <laughs> so also, yeah. it tells you that... So is this him just being thirsty for a position, uh, for a promotion? Because mm-hmm. he smashed Lady Eloise. He Smash. gave her some pipe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, well, that's uh-huh. gross. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, don't. No, Lady Eloise is yeah. a beautiful woman. Yeah. You know, but she's an he older, beautiful she's an older woman. Hey, I think he did. He took one for the team. Well, you yeah. know who who, and, who deserved to win? Him. She played him. Yeah. She played him as he should, as he should have. Who deserved to win Best Supporting Actor? Is her her butler? Oh my gosh! The, like the way he was oh, laughing, the way he was God. he was laughing. Yeah, <laughs> the way he like peeped the whole scene. Yeah, and was every time yes. he can get a moment, he was like, "You getting? You don't even know you getting Listen, played, right? You or, don't even know. You know, you, you and I, you and I both know you're getting played. Yeah, he yeah, and he did. He, he was like, he mm-hmm. knew. Yeah, I he think knew. I, he knew. I think, he, he knew, but he was like, I, I think knew. the valet. I think I think the butler was laughing because I think Lady Eloise does this everywhere, all the time. I think she, and I think that's what's so. Yeah. For now, it's comical. He used to it. Little like he does goes, he know. Little does yeah. he, does, do these guys know whatever it is they think they getting. He think he about to get a promotion. Th- yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that's why it's funny. All right, but like, he knew. I he knew 
He's a player. He knows the game. That's mm-hmm. why he got in the bed. Mm-hmm. He tried to go. He tried to um, not go that route though, because he was like, "I feel like I'm more than qualified for this position." Mm-hmm. And she's like, mm-hmm, "With her little asparagus, yeah. asparagus, like, mm-hmm. yeah. boy, that don't mean nothing to me." Yeah, I don't give a damn about your right. qualifications. Right, right, exactly. So what's up with that yeah. pipe ball? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the way the way she was the way she was purring at him, like it was it was perfect. Right. I ain't you know, no panties on. My, I have no panties It's like, you know. Mark is darling. Yeah. And again, another reason why this movie is amazing, I've never seen that. Like, I've never right. seen that scene done. Yes. That well. Right. In any other film, yeah. black film or not, right? I feel like, like you everybody know? stayed in their lane. Yes, like, everybody. No one was like trying to outshine the other. Mm-hmm, like there was mm-hmm. a lane for everyone. And she they, came in, they and everybody shined, so in, well. their they shined yeah. in their own lane. In their own way, they even somehow got Stronje to stay within her margin. Oh, Stronje! Mm-hmm. They somehow got Grace Jones, yeah. Jones to like Strong stay in her Jay. margin. We'll get to her Strong later. Jay. Get to her later. Jay. Yeah, yeah. Stronje. Back to Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, so uh, yeah. before. It's the big presentation for Strong J to come out. Mm-hmm. And they go to this thing. Everyone's dressed up in tuxedos. Right. And uh, Jacqueline is looking great. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. the homies are like, oh, that's what you're talking about? Damn, she fly as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, man. I'm mm-hmm. trying to get those. Yeah. And then in comes Angela. Yeah, Angela. Jacqueline's secretary and or assistant and yeah. or no, not not neither. She, she's, she's a part yeah, of the she's she's art, art department. Art she's the art department. department. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Um, so she was like, hey. Pleasure to meet you, Agatha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Agatha. <laughs> Sorry. Halle Berry. That's one of my favorite scenes. Halle Berry hits yeah. the scene as Angela. And she's the art designer yeah. of the company. And she did Jacqueline, not have to do too much at all. She's not just at all. perfect. Man. And and the way and the way <sighs> they the way they shined her up yes. over the course of the movie, like, you know, they took what was already Crack a it. ten yes. and found a way to like Polish a ten. Polish a ten yes. even more. Because mm-hmm. she's just gonna like plain Jane ish a little bit. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, uh how crazy is that to say about Halle Berry? That's what But uh, they but they present her as a humble Humble, humble, plain Jane. Yeah, from and the art department. Mm. From the art department. Yeah. yeah, and she did a great job. Yes, yeah, she did. And for her to play, not the she was a love interest, but mm-hmm. the homie, the, the homie. The she home was the girl. homie at first. She was the she was the home girl. Yeah. She was shooting her shot. Yeah, she shot. You her got shot. you got the you got a film where mm-hmm. Halle. Excuse me. You got you got a film where Halle Berry is shooting her shot. Yeah. She definitely shot her shot. And at, we talking about I got with the, um, oh, with the um, hold on. Are y'all talking about from the beginning? From or the are beginning, we talking about on the plane, on the plane. No, even even even, before even then. prior to that, before even that. even prior to that, when when he was looking for Jacqueline, yeah, and she was like, and she was like, help. you looking and for like, Jacqueline? You like her, don't you? you? Like her, don't you? you but she yes. never, she never was a hater. Never hated. No, she never, never tried hated. to step in. Never like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't. But she was she was she was she was she was. Playing, she was playing her own role too. She, was, she, she had a play. She put, put a play in that shit. I feel right. like I feel like she was like, I'm definitely interested. Who wouldn't be interested yeah. in Marcus? He's everything. Right. Yeah. But what I like about her is, is that she gave the homie Gerard a shot. Yeah, she did. She did. Like she gave him a legit shot. Like she oh wasn't my God. Damn it, Gerard. stuck up or 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 beyond approaching. Yes. Like she gave Gerard a legit and I like, think that's after the house beauty. shot. That's the beauty. That's what, make, that's what lets you know she's a real one. Yes. She's a she real one. Real like, she's Until, not like, oh, I'm mm-hmm. too good. She, she's, she's a real one, but I got my things to say about For Angela. me, I feel like what she's a real one throughout. I'm a, we don't get that in She's Angela. untouchable. Wait, 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 she's, wait, she's, wait. Angela, Wait. Angela makes zero mistakes no, in this movie. Nah, I disagree. I, say, on, I disagree. Zero Angela. mistakes. No, 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 no. Let's get to it. She's in the minute. perfect. <laughs> Hilarious. We're talking so, about the dishes and the, and the sleep. Not even that. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Okay. Here, hold on. So he's pursuing, he meets Angela. He puts Angela on Gerard. Right. Because okay? mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, his main focus yeah. is Jacqueline. Right. Yep. He, go, he goes upstairs. They have their mm-hmm. whole conversation. Mm-hmm. And we now know that, oh, Jacqueline. Wait a minute. Real quick. Do you think that Marcus hint like got a feeling that she was interested in him? Oh yeah, because he's he, Marcus. You see how he put mm-hmm. up yeah, over like yeah, yeah. somebody that I think you he's, might be interested. Hell in. Hell yeah, he's Mar- yeah. Marcus. He's Marcus Graham, and he says very specifically at lunch, "I pay attention to women." Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. pay attention to women. Right. So yeah. obviously, why would you want to know? Yeah, who I'm looking for? Right, right. You, you've okay. been peeping Come on. me. Nah, right. Marcus is the man. Right. So he was like, uh, Gerard. Yeah. Gerard was like, 
Mm-hmm. Hey, and she's like, finger in the ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, bro. Like, so he, he went up there. <laughs> to, he said, oh, she's throwing, a, she's throwing me a play. Oh, she's throwing the vibe. All right. Gerard. Boom. Mm-hmm. Interference. Let me go yeah. find. Yep. Let me go find my. No, I got someone at the QB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So. Dang, that is true. Because I only, I, don't, I have, I need no distractions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jacqueline, Jacqueline is who I need. And she's upstairs yeah. by herself. Right. Yeah. I've been waiting on this opportunity all night. To get her by yeah. herself so I can, you know, he even said, this is my Mac Daddy vibe I'm giving yeah. you. What's happening? Right. What's like, you can't see it. Yes. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Let, Every me, man. let me take a, mm-hmm. let me take yeah. a look at you. Yeah. Uh-huh. That. So he was very, he was very uh, assertive mm-hmm. when dealing with her to let mm-hmm. her know, hey, I, I've been doing all these things, all these mm-hmm. things, and you haven't really. Yeah. Re- reciprocated. I'm, let me just flat right. out tell you, I'm on you. Yeah, right. I want you. you know what I'm saying so. Right. Uh, and and, she, then, and I then, don't date men that I work with. She, he uh, proceeded to quit. get out. I tell you that. I'm telling you that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. He proceeded to get out gamed by her. Man, he threw his best gauntlet shot. She shot him down, and then blew the eyelash out his eye. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Like you know. Right. Like, so she 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 with, she withdrew, mm-hmm. and then. Through a haymaker, yeah, mm. and, and brought him all the way close, all yep. the way in, which is which is how, which is how you you get him on 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 the leash, right? Mm. Little tug at a time, yes. Little tug, little tug, like so. Now he gets used to being dragged around, so she He's so used she to played not having to work that hard, exactly. Mm. So it's easy to get it's, it's easy to get uh this um lack uh, to lose interest once you if it comes too easy, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. if everything works perfectly, right? Yeah, uh, he, she's making them work. And so, mm, but no, back, but yeah. no, but this is what's so important because what you, what you said is a hundred percent right, except for the fact that Marcus is not playing a home field game. He's playing an away game. She's mm. not making him work hard to get it. Cause that would mean that we're playing by Marcus's rules. Mm. She is deciding when yeah. and if she's going to give him something. Yeah. Right. right. So right. the whole time we look at it, like it's like Marcus is climbing the hill it's actually Jacqueline She's deciding. She's not playing hard to Am get. I going like, to fuck him or not? This is what it is. Yeah. I don't normally. Yeah. I don't. I don't normally Do sleep this. with men that I work with. Mm-hmm. Specifically he's interesting. for this reason. He's curious. Right. Let me. Let me blow this eyelash. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Let me. Gotta, yeah. I always. Let me put She's him in. She's the Marcus yeah. in yeah. this situation. I try yes. to always remember Marcus. to. And he's mm-hmm. to he's look at it from, uh-huh. yep. from her mm-hmm. perspective. True. Every time I think he's macking down, if you look at the same scenes from her perspective, you can see her making an equal amount of chess moves. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, I yeah, see that. for sure. I see that. For okay, sure. so now they have the company have a, a business um, meeting in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Right. And a few of the people from the company have to go. He's one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him, Jacqueline, Angela, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what's the old boy's name? Nelson. Everyone's going yeah. probably. Yeah. So, and so on the flight over. Angela set it up. Angela makes sure she's sitting next to yeah. Marcus. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, she he she knows that Marcus is in to her friend. Right. Mm-hmm. He's hard pressing her. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She's still playing. She's still trying to make a play for Marcus. Mm-hmm. On some competition shit. How? And she knows that Jacqueline is <laughs> she knows Jacqueline is is, is leading them on, my mm-hmm. bad. Maybe because she also knew how yeah, yeah, she knows how Jacqueline is as well. Right. Because they I'm come sure from the same company. Yeah. I'm, I'm they, sure she does. They work yeah. together at at, at She Lady might have brought over yeah. Angela over there. She was a part of yeah, the acquisition. I think so, yeah. Right. That yeah. like when when they introduce her, they the they work department. together. Yeah, they do. Right. They mm-hmm. work together as a part of the acquisition. So yeah. So she's still trying to get at this nigga Marcus. I think she just. Why, I why think do you she, think she's trying to get at him on the plane? What makes you think? That? She, I, so she finally got some alone time with her because mm-hmm. last with him mm-hmm. last time she had some alone time. He put Gerard in the spot. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. At this point, they're all sitting down. There's nowhere he can go. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. So now she's like, "Yeah, I think she's fly. I think she's you know, mm-hmm. I think Jacqueline's cool and all that shit." Mm-hmm. Talking Jacqueline up, <laughs> asking all kind of questions and mm-hmm. stuff, and, and, and he, he he flat out tells her. Hey, I see what you're doing. You're right. What am I yeah, doing? I'm that. not trying to pry. Oh mm-hmm. shit! You... Do I look like the girl that the kind of girl mm-hmm. that will pry? Yeah, yeah. Not, not five minutes ago, but now mm-hmm. you look like a dictionary. <laughs> your name would be in there. Your face yeah. be. You know what I'm saying? You in there prying? But no, hey, but no that foul. Is true. No foul She's on the play. Smooth. Wait a Hold minute. On. No foul Wait on the play. Minute. Wait a minute, right. bro. Mm-hmm. Let's let's switch the, let's switch this out. All right. So she recommended the jazz spot or huh? the dance spot. It's she... equivalent to you getting at a young lady and you my partner. Yeah. 
right? But no, but here's the thing. Hold on, let me finish yeah. it. Okay, finish your thought. <laughs> I know you. I know you're trying to get at that, mm-hmm. and I know she's gonna end up giving it to you too. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna try to undercut you. Yeah. Angela was trying to undercut. He was well, what, okay because she she knows that Jacqueline is going to end up giving some money. But let's kind of did the same thing. Yeah. If you want to take it there. Hold on, uh, but we okay. all we already know that Marcus yeah. is one but, of the ones. Yeah. But let's also entertain the idea that Angela and Jacqueline ain't super close. Right? This is, no, no, no. Like, but they like, have, like they're but they're facts. they're colleague. They work together. Yeah. So it, they work. It, to, but it's but, still shady business, bro. And I can tell how it's she still, addressed her when she was like. um mm-hmm. When she was like, can you just not do that yeah. thing? And she was like, seems like you're offended by it. She's like, no, you know, it's just, it's work. That's, like, such, you know, a, that's such a good point. Because, because during that interaction, when she's like, it's affecting his work, she is not talking to Jacqueline like she would her friend right. or her homegirl. Right. She's talking to her After the way you smash. do a, a, a colleague that, uh-huh. they're, that they're no, cool he didn't with. No, sm- he didn't smash uh, Hallie yet. No, 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 no. This no. is after he was oh, like, This okay. is after Jacqueline and Marcus was already smashing. Mm-hmm. Right, right, because she broke yeah. his heart, now, remember? Now, right. now, now she in there on some like, but she been plotting from before oh, she smashed. Right, we skipping ahead. My bad. Yeah, yeah. All right. she was plotting the day that she met Marcus. She was on him. Yeah. I think she. I, I, I think just, she I knew, knew her being yeah. in, and she knew that yeah. Marcus was I think on she, Jacqueline. Yeah. yeah, but that don't got her but, coworker. But, but, but she, she like, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. What you? What you? It what should, you man though, got to do with not. me? Why should it? Because everybody's single. It's a yes, yeah, true. But here's the thing: they wasn't even having any relations at the time yet. Yeah, I understand that. But now you're trying to jump the gun. You know, if I if I know, <laughs> that's like that's like mm-hmm. that's like if I if you pursuing tone, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh what, what, what'd you say, uh, Tony Eloise, Tony Eloise, Tony Eloise. Yeah, I've got right? money. <laughs> yes, and I know <laughs> that you own. So I know you're trying you to pursue know. the homie. Yeah, mm-hmm. or my coworker, homie coworker. You still now. Cause right. when niggas, cause co-worker, when niggas right. do, they be like, "Oh, he ain't really my homie like that." We just work together. That sounds mm-hmm. like some that's some shifty nigga shit. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it, this is a, a man code. Maybe like, this homie code, bro yeah. code, and this is a man code. Yeah. And we all work together, right? Mm-hmm. And I know I see you flirting with Tone all mm-hmm. the time. Like, damn, I wonder. I still yeah. Want. Yeah. And, and, I, and I know you, Marcus Grammish. So mm-hmm. I know eventually you are gonna let her in. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You playing the role. Right. So I know. It, oh, she chose up. She chose mm-hmm. up. Right. And I'm still trying to finesse right. my way into yeah. your world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's snakish. The only thing Angela that... got a little snake in her, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, but the only thing is is that they're subtle. Like like it's subtle. It's subtle. Subtle snake. Yeah. yeah it's a, and I, it's, not a, a, I, it's not a python. I think it's... like she's like setting up like setting she's up still flares. Was, yeah. She's setting up flares. Like and then but she wasn't being I, a full I still blown, exist. like cock block yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Like she wasn't she wasn't like, listen. Instead of hanging out with Jacqueline tonight, why don't you hang out with me? Right, because let's be real. You know I mean? The like, dancing is what got him in to get some. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. even more so. Yeah. So yeah. she set a play for him that's for real. That's even for real. more mm-hmm. true. That's even more so why I was like, oh, oh Angela, a little freaky. <laughs> I think because she like, all right, go ahead and fuck this nigga. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm getting them next. But that's what <laughs> she, <laughs> Angela <laughs> Savage is really she's me, a savage. Break his heart. That's what makes Angela a real one because yes. there's Angela never judges Marcus. Yeah. For, she hey. knows who Marcus is. Facts. She oh, never she judges does. him. Hold on. Wait, 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 she never wait, wait, holds wait, wait, it against him. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm glad we're having this conversation mm-hmm. because it's going gonna, it's gonna to pan out. So they go to New Orleans, right? All of them. Okay. And then they go dancing. Marcus and Jacqueline go dancing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then he can't get into his hotel room. Right. His mm-hmm. key won't work. Mm-hmm. So she's like, come over here. Right. Yep. Now, your key will work in mine. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then they get a crack. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. but, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, <laughs> That's just, a good one. Just yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a good so, one. They, uh, so they do their thing. They fi- mm-hmm. He finally gets it. Or mm-hmm. she finally gets it. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And so, and that's how it is. Now they get back to New York, uh-huh. and now he's all smitten. Yeah, right. He's yeah. all like on the he is smitten. Well, let's hold on. Hey, I babe. want to talk about this really quick though, because uh-huh. I think this is so interesting. When I was trying to differentiate the the sex or the romantic um, side he had between the two of them, mm-hmm. right? Jacqueline turned him into a straight up. B I T C H yes. uh-huh. from the sex, yes. the kissing, everything. Like uh-huh. when he kiss her, mm-hmm. his arm is wrapped around, like his yes. arm is wrapped around mm-hmm. her. Or when they in the bed and he's saying she, her name, and yeah. you know she completely dominated him. Listen, I, I completely she with them. I called, she put it on. I him. called yes. this out to my wife when we was watching last night about the two times that they have sex. Mm-hmm. The first time that they have sex, it feels like a mutual mm-hmm. tryst of passion. 
Right. The second time we have sex, Jacqueline is fucking him. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's on top. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She's making him say his her toes curl her name. Yes, you know what I mean? Her, like, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. we 100 and, and she leave the money. That, you know, that comes a little and bit later. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, but by the time we get to you that. complaining about a $200 ticket. Well, yeah, here yeah. you go. He's a bottom. Again, yeah. That boss. He's a bottom. He's a bottom. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. She was like, oh, she left that to uh, but, the tickets here for the tickets. Yeah. But <laughs> Jackie sleeps with Marcus. They get back to the city and Jacqueline gets to telling everybody yeah, yeah. that Marcus can fuck. Right. Yeah. In in the way a guy would do it. Yeah. She, like she talks about it in the way a guy yes. can. Like, yeah, man, man, man. And man. then yeah. and then she Jacqueline tells Angela, I let him hit. Yeah. No, of course. Of oh course yeah, she did. He tell let him. me hit. She yeah. told him that she was that was the first person she told. Yes. Well, no, because Angela asked. Angela asked Angela her. Angela a freak, man. Angela was like. Angela is a freak. Like, Marcus has a reputation. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did we yeah. not see the yeah. photo, Angela? Wait a minute. Marcus, <laughs> Marcus has a reputation. Uh-huh. Is he as good as, as they as, say? Yeah. And, and Angela was like, yeah. good. Like, because, yes. because, because I'm hunting too. You ain't the only one. <laughs> You ain't the only one with a gun on a Serengeti. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. 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 Oh, so you got the you got the experience, Marcus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too. I'm 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 I'm, st- I'm still mm-hmm. on that. But but notice, but notice for her, it's not a turn off. No, it's That's not. It's not like she she accepts the man for who he is. Yeah. She got a little grime going. She got a little grime to her too. Yeah. There's just a there, little grit. There's no like mm-hmm. she she liked she liked Marcus from the moment she met him. Facts. Mm-hmm. Right, she was not afraid to poke and prod around the edges, mm-hmm. right, to see if there was any interest there. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, she didn't push all in because she was willing to to go out and hang out with Gerard, yeah, She's, right, like you know, yeah. being patient. And she wanted to know she if, if the, if the legend is true. She was being patient. Yeah, she being Dang patient, mm-hmm. Girl, like, like a nigga would. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing, <laughs> Boomerang. So it's not just. And this might not be women's favorite movie unless you're like that. Mm-hmm. But this is this should be yeah. just as it, it's a woman's flick like it is a man's mm-hmm. flick. Yeah, it is. Because the women, the, sure. two, the two main women in the film were moving like dudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were. And she was like, okay, I, oh, oh, you got the homie? Oh, I'll date the homie yeah. for a little bit. Give nah, him a little that's kiss. facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Until you ready. The same, the same reason why oh, she, even she, now. She, she, she let herself she let herself be in the friend she's zone until yeah. Yeah. I come over like chess, and, oh, not chess. I come she was over with your chess. Boy. <laughs> she was playing chess, <laughs> playing chess. But so was Jacqueline. Jacqueline playing chess like a mug. And yeah, so was she. Yeah, but she. Was and here's chess. the thing: she was like, "I'm willing to let you fuck him. Yeah, yeah I want it. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to let you Girl, fuck him. I want you to try that. Listen. So you'll know. You'll know what you're never going to get again listen, after listen. I get right. that. She's an artist. Yeah. That's how artists oh, think. Hey, she's that's, Picasso yeah, her way into the draws. That's, that's how artists operate. <laughs> yes, artists, artists look Dang. past like the the lines. It's Thanksgiving now, right? Yeah, oh, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so well, before or, Thanksgiving, or Christ, no, before we get to to before because because a, a very important moment happens at Thanksgiving. So before we before get to Thanksgiving, it, is the conversation between yes. Jacqueline and Angela, mm-hmm. and she like, and then the dinner between. Strange. Oh, the breaking the heart yes. part, mm-hmm. and okay, ah, uh, ooh, yeah. Okay. So when 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 Marcus walked in on, on and Jacqueline and Angela talking mm-hmm. about him, he said, yeah. "What were they talking about? Oh, y'all was talking about Gerard. Mm-hmm. Oh, he hit it, huh? Mm-hmm. He hit it. Yeah, and he oh ja- telling Angela, oh Gerard, you let ja- you let you let mm-hmm. Gerard hit. That's mm-hmm. what it was. What she said? She said some smart yeah, remark he about hit he it. He hit, hit it with a bat. With a bat. Yeah, right. with a bat. Yeah, girl. yeah. that's game Crazy. right there. That's game that's right there. She's so, perfect. She's and she, perfect. Didn't, she didn't say, I don't, I don't talk about my business yeah. in the bedroom to yeah. get out. Uh-huh. She said, she, she, she's a dude. Yeah. She's yeah. like, oh, nigga, that nigga ain't hit shit. She can't hit shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to say it the way, that, and she said it to the man that she wants. Yes. Like, no, nah, he didn't do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't handle all this. Yeah. He couldn't hit it if he had a bat. Yep. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? She was not shy. She was not bashful. Right. She was very was much late. She, she even kissed the man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she gave him a little kiss. Yeah, she let him but down. She gave him a shot. Yeah, she did. She gave him a shot. But, but he she, failed. He but fumbled. But she also she gave her she gave Gerard an opportunity to make her want him. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. and that's what a lot of women will do. Mm-hmm. I love this movie so much because it's it's a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's the right way to play it. Yeah, and the wrong way to play for it. Game. And even yeah. you know what I'm saying even it's then, for game. Mm-hmm. She was like, and I like Gerard so much yeah. so that I'll meet his family. Yeah. I just yeah. hope they don't think that we're not together. Ooh. Right. Right? Like, you're a likable guy. That shows, that shows like, her heart. So when mm-hmm. I say... I like him. I'm just not into right, yeah. right. So when I say it's the right way to play the game, just because you're a player, mm-hmm. that's a, that could be who you are or mm-hmm. that could be who you are for the time being. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think, for example, Angela was playing the game at first. 
Mm-hmm. She she knew the answer. She Angela. knew. She even asking mm-hmm. Jacqueline was like, "How was the sex? Mm-hmm. Oh, you smashed him? Mm-hmm. How was it? Right? Because yeah. and then once she found out that they smashed, mm-hmm. she's still on the prowl. Mm-hmm. I still want those. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So Dang. and and she cares about Marcus. Mm. Right. She sees. She, she cares, cares. She cares about Marcus. She when when she takes. I, I'm jumping forward just a little bit, but when she takes Marcus with her to the kids to do the art, that's not game, right? Mm-hmm. She not she not gaming Marcus I'm up. Of I'm me. trying to help you because mm-hmm. I know that you're hurting, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you know, this may distract you. Right. I think she even alludes to like when my dating life be jacked up, hanging out the with kids. these kids yeah. kind of helps mm-hmm. me around. Yeah, she did right when she comes to the crib for Thanksgiving. For where his homeboy. I don't think she's gaming it was up. by design. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah. So here's the thing. She was getting ready to leave. Hold on. Where? Be- before, when we're at Thanksgiving towards the end, and we're hopping around a little bit, but like when he asked her to stay to help with the dishes, right. she already has her coat on. She was yeah. getting ready to leave. But then she realizes, oh, so I don't she this knew is my he was opportunity. Need help, yeah. she, Come said on now. she said, let me know if you need yeah. my help or whatever. Yeah. He's like, nah, I got it. She yeah. knew. That's what I'm saying. Come okay. on, man. She knew. Even more Angela. evidence of her greatness. Real, Come on, real, real man. Woman, a real woman is cleaning as we cooking. Yeah. So it right. ain't that many dishes. Yeah. Facts. She, dang, Angela. Facts. Mm-hmm. Angela so, was really like. She's, she's, she was playing chess at yeah. the same level Jacqueline was. She's so tough level. that she was like, okay, I know who I am. He don't know that yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's over here overlooking me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so right as, as much as much as like I'm talking shit, shit about yeah. Angela, mm-hmm. I'm respecting the hustle in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting how she got down. Yeah. But I was like, oh, she was a little grimy too. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. She She's was a like, tabbit. she she I'm a, I'm a hang out with your homeboy, mm-hmm. knowing I want you. Mm. But she gave him a legit shot. Yeah, she did. She did. Well, her coming over for Thanksgiving was something that she didn't have to do. But she know. I was oh, wondering why it's was at she Marcus. Over... It's at Marcus's house. Yeah, I was wondering that. Yeah, I was wondering how, like, why is she there before him? Before uh, what was his name? Gerard. Um, Gerard. Gerard. Yeah. If she like, so everything he was, was coming planned with his from. Parents. Yeah, he's coming with his parents, and she's not his date. Right. Like she, she right. very much wanted to be clear. Just, Just friends. Yeah. But what we know, what we know from the whole movie that Marcus and Angela work very closely together at work. Right. Right. Yeah. He, right? She did make that clear. He's, um, he's Jacqueline. Yep. He's the advertising uh-huh. guy. And she's he's probably the big idea. I got she's, she, the, designer. she's the, the, the designer, the video. Right. You know what I mean? So like, so it's clear they have rapport. Right. Right. right? Like, you know, it's, it's very clear that, that they're friends and that's a part of it. Right. Right. Um, I assume that like, maybe all of these folks are new to New York. Right, like you know, because of the acquisition, right? You know, but 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 that that's not on screen. But from there, well, maybe not because they, they might have been working for another company. Working for another it's company, New York. York so. yeah, it's big, right? Yeah, and no. she already had that job with the kids. Mm-hmm. True, you know what I'm saying true, true, true. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we go to uh, Jacqueline standing up, Eddie, mm-hmm. right, which had him all in his feelings, right? Oh yeah, she did. He was so I've upset. Been there he was so butthurt. <laughs> <laughs> the way he had them arms I hated crossed. Myself for it. The way he had them arms crossed. First in, of in, all, he opened yeah. that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. Calling the uh, mm-hmm. calling the flights. Like, hey, yeah. did a flight come in? Like, he was worried. It, yeah. yeah, he was. Yeah, he was yeah. worried. Yeah. He was. And That's but funny. I think he kind of was because he was he was he was yeah. to feel for her. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't just sex for him. Yeah, yeah. he wanted her yeah, attention. He, was, he wanted yeah. her heart. He mm-hmm. wanted, and he wasn't he wasn't really on nobody else. It wasn't like he and with the calendar when he was like. That's three weeks from now. Yeah, when he that's wanted what I'm to, saying. Yeah. If he didn't give it to them, if, if she was just one of many, mm-hmm. he uh, I got other girls to fill in the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, he, so I'm not he, tripping off mm-hmm. three weeks from now. And Jacqueline, Dang. let me tell you how much how Ooh, much of a fuck yeah. she didn't give about him. She is the head of marketing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. She knows how to pick up the phone and call. Right. Right. Her business is based upon communication. Right. Mm-hmm. And scheduling. Mm-hmm. She left that fool hanging on purpose. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. She either had oh, something yeah. else to do or wasn't really tripping. And when she was done, when she was done with her night, like players do. Yes. Mm-hmm. When she was done with whatever she was doing, yes. she showed up for her sex. Yeah. Right. She had a trench coat on. She uh-huh. had her lingerie. He's not right. going to be able to resist this. It's right? equivalent to pulling the meat out, like, yeah. like Demetrius thought he was going to yeah. do on Tammy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, after all yep. this said and done, <laughs> lock. I'm here. Bam. What's cracking? Thank you for that. I was really, I was really tense. tense. Was really you helped me out. You helped me out. Dang. Peace. 
I two hundred dollars for the tickets. Yeah, that, that spend. and the way he pulled the gone. covers up. Call the yeah. way, the way he pulled. Call me. Yeah, yeah, man. Then she, then she tells about it, which, which brings us to their breakup. Obviously, Strange. she tells Strange about it, oh, and Strange hits cool. the. So when are we going to fuck? Also, knowing <laughs> that Strange would do that, yes, she Yay. she was showing him this. I don't really think this much of you, mm-hmm. and let me show you why. Mm-hmm. Blah 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 blah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So Dang, I he like wasn't you. Even do- he wasn't even doing it to that extent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, yeah. I like you, mm-hmm. but th- th- this is not. This is fun for me. Yeah, you're not getting serious on me, are you? Right, yeah. that's what she's saying. Right, like yeah, that's her whole. No serious that's her whole you. thing. And she and and I think she really meant it like that too. Right. Jacqueline told Strange that he really knew how to move his ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which which leads to maybe one of the most iconic mm-hmm. scenes in the movie. But My let's be real. Gay. My brother's but let's gay. Be, gay. He is yeah. gay. Mm-hmm. Right? But let's be real. He really was, you know, just slinging it. Mm-hmm. to women you know what I'm saying but now someone is like making you look dirty about it like right. you know what I'm saying right he, I, well he's he, this this for the record he's not a victim yeah he's not a victim he's not a victim yeah no and he, I, he's playing the game and he's starting to lose against yeah. this particular mm-hmm. opponent and they done you know pulled his curtain back because Jacqueline got his number you fuck Lady Eloise. Right. Yeah, I know what type of man you are bro. you know don't act like you know what I mean like and to keep it a hundred she read mm-hmm. it to keep it a hundred in an office space like that, yes. in the corporate world, everybody knows everybody, he smashed Lady Everybody Eloise. smashing each other. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, and on top, of Boney Jacqueline, T knew what was up. Boney T. Boney T. <laughs> Boney T. <laughs> Boney T knew what was up. Boney T was like, man, we got a we got a pool in the in in the in the mail room. Or how long it's gonna take you to, to hit smash. that? Yeah. Hey, come on, man, don't be crass. Oh, yeah. what do I mean? A mm-hmm. week? Yeah. 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 Not you, Marcus. Not you. Yeah. Come on, not you. <laughs> right. Um, she then she told everybody mm-hmm. about everything, and man, then after he, she broke up with him, right? Right. She, yeah, because he was because yeah. he was upset, and he came into the office, and, and oh, turned. she played him. Everybody so giggling. Cold. Hey, Marcus, he was she, like, yeah, hey, and walked off sad, just like a guy. Dang, I, even the way she broke up with him, I mean, like she said, um, we're done. It's we're over. Done. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. Okay. It's over, Marcus. And came in the office and probably told every lady in there, you won't believe. You won't Dang. believe what he was As on. if that wasn't Last enough night. the night before. Right. He Ooh. wanted he, he off Bert. He wanted to be my wife. He, he wanted to be he wanted to marry me. He wanted to marry right. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's only been like a month and or so. They all laughing at him. Right. Perfect. The player gets played. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's and so crazy. Yeah. And then Angela. Perfect. Angela was like, Yes, Gerard, I'll go to Marcus's house for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I'll be there. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we mm-hmm. get we that's get the, Oh, you need help with the dishes? Okay, I got you. Yeah. Gerard, did you know your father has a mushroom belt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Coordinate. 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 <laughs> like, fantastic yes. scene. Oh, they No God. dull moments in the movie. Mm-hmm. No dull moments, bro. Yeah. None. None. Here, office. None. Woman at the office got your pussy whip. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that pussy. No, no, we pussy whip. Yeah. That pussy. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Shout out to Don. They with came the in. Yes. Like, they were perfect. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the way Gerard, you know, private school got him off did he like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, just yeah, yeah. every yeah. moment, every beat was just perfect. Yeah. Right. It was just it was, was just perfect. Seamless. <laughs> Man, great. So Jacqueline, I mean, Angela stays and helps uh, Marcus cook, dishes. I mean, wash dishes. Now they're tired they're on the couch. Watching the Star, watching now, the Star yeah. Trek. Yeah. Now this is different. Yeah. Now this is where I can say, okay, she made her play for sure. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like you, you fall asleep mm-hmm. on him, on him, on him. Mm-hmm. you know, and then mm-hmm. he, well, he tried it too with the forehead kisses. Yeah, why are you kissing me on my forehead? Yeah, yeah. Hey, but hold why on. are you doing wait, that? Wait a minute, kissing on forehead, and, and like, then she kisses on the lips. Uh, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, whoa. He was like, what we we're doing? friends or something. We're not supposed to be. something. He says, mm-hmm. and she's like, friends can kiss, and yep. she's like, really, she, she was really she taking ready. control. Yes. She really was taking control. This is the moment she's been waiting. It's for. equivalent to yeah. a girl, but like, but what about your friend? As yeah. she's still unbuckling, uh, unbuckling mm-hmm. her pants. Yeah. yeah, she's trying to feel better about the decision she's about to make by asking questions. Mm-hmm. He was doing the same thing, but like, so you're like, oh, so. We, we we friends. We can't kiss. Yeah. So she's saying friends, friends can, can kiss. kiss. So that's the, yeah. she's playing the dude. Role this in, is in, what in, in, in this spot. is what she been playing at yeah. from the first introduction. She is right where she wants to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. She is right Jones where she shit. wants to be. Yeah. Where I she, be. she is she is kind of yeah. like 
I'm glad you finally decided. I, I'm glad you showed up. About right. time. Because I've been here. I've been here. I've been here for a time. minute. I've been here, the whole I've been here time. since the day we met. Yep. The whole and, time. And they go and and this and they take off. Mm-hmm. She moves in. Mm-hmm. They're together. The Sean Jay, um mm-hmm. the what was oh, the, the for the uh the perfume was it the perfume? The perfume, yeah, yeah. yeah After that, where mm-hmm. he gives it to Nelson, <laughs> where he gives it to Nelson, you know, and then he, he, he didn't quit his job, but he had to go on leave because right. giving it to Nelson unsupervised was With not the, a good look. Yes, he had to take like a week or two off. Mm-hmm. That was before though they had sex. That was before they had sex. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, After they had sex, like he was doing good, like as far as like the um the marketing of the new. Fragrance yeah. for Sean yeah. Jay mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. Right, he's doing good. They they that, moved in together. They moved in. Mm-hmm. Her mm-hmm. stuff was there. Mm-hmm. Like she changed the whole aesthetic of his house. Yeah, like you he's know, doing well at she work, lightened it up. Everything, right, yeah. right, brightness, colors, mm-hmm. all, yeah. And so until Jacqueline, Jacqueline decided calls mm-hmm. that day at the house, and yeah. Angela answers the phone, and Jacqueline what, was like, "I okay." Check, oh. huh? Watch this. Yeah, watch it. Mm. So and so she feels some type of way yeah. about Angela swooping in. Yeah. And getting her getting her sloppy seconds. Yep. Mm. All right. Because she yeah, asked well, it was about a lot it. left over. She uh, had look to- at her. Mm-hmm. Hey! hey, I'm gonna get to this in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get to this in a minute, guys, because because you say that, yes. Uh okay, man. That's dope. Um, Jacqueline called and found out that Angela and Marcus are a thing now. Mm-hmm. Her ego is, it immediately gets attacked. Mm-hmm. Um, right, because Angela answers the phone. Yeah. Uh huh. But it's the way that he fumbles too. Yeah, he kind of dismisses Angela she just on the phone by. with Jacqueline. Remember, yep. he was like, "Oh yeah, she was just stopping by." Yep. But she lives. So, there. but she lives there. Mm-hmm. That's his girl at yep. this point, basically. Yep. You know. So he, f- and this was, I was talking to someone about this. Um, what is it about Jacqueline, Jacqueline, I'm sorry, that makes Marcus just stop everything and completely forget mm-hmm. about Angela in that moment? The conquest. Yeah. Or the lack thereof. The fact that he wants her and she, his ego. She wants mm-hmm. her. Because he still mm-hmm. haven't got her the way that he wants to have her. Right. He, like I, how he had everybody else. What it is mm-hmm. is control. He hasn't mm-hmm. conquered her yet. It's control. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Control, conquer, yeah. synonyms. Like, she was the one that he never got under his thumb. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, probably never even felt her under his thumb. Right. Yeah. So when she calls, it's unfinished Everything business. Stops. Oh, shit, yeah. It's unfinished Everything business. Game on. Stops. Game on again. Yes. Yeah. She's calling me, so uh, mm-hmm. like, right, let, let me make, let me make something of, it, of mm-hmm. this. Let me make something of this. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so, let's just say it. He um, gets involved with Jacqueline again. Again. On the slick tip that night. Mm-hmm. That night, and Hallie was waiting mm-hmm. and got home. But look how easy waiting. it was for her again to wheel him back in, mm-hmm. just like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like so, just like she's that. She's always at the end now, of here's his, the his thing. Dream. Is Jacqueline wrong? Is she wrong? Yeah, she for wrong. Really, for really him back in. Well, so, he, right, so, but, but it's not uh, it's not her fault that he fell for it again. Like same scenario mm-hmm. when he does these same things to women. Yeah, he he dropped the bait. Yeah, they took it. Yep. That's not that's not yep. that's not her fault. Jack- okay, okay. Yeah. So she's not at fault then. She, I mean, yeah, Jack- she's not. Well, she's not wrong, but she's wrong as far as the Angela thing because you knew that was my man, but Angela knew too. Yeah. So I don't that's, know. Yeah. That's my point. I yeah. don't know. That's <laughs> my, my point. Tired. It's like Game of and Thrones. That's why the shit is called boomerang. What goes around comes mm-hmm. around. Facts. Listen, listen. Right. Right. On everybody, yeah, Angela. That's true. And then Let's, on top of that, that's mm-hmm. true. So yeah, Jacqueline is wrong. Let's talk about. But she friendship. isn't wrong. But she isn't wrong. Let's talk about friendship. When when Marcus mm-hmm. sleeps with Angela, because we're not friends, we're that not creates friends. a beef with Gerard, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you, you're it supposed to be my friend, right. and you did this. I just don't think What's that Angela and Jackie had that type they of didn't. friendship. They didn't. We they, they show them being congenial towards each other. But, we don't call each other on the phone every yeah. day. We're not having lunch every day with yeah. each other. You're not stopping by my house. We're not. Ha- we're not even, having even when they have the conversation. Even when mm-hmm. when Angela asks Jackie about the sex, it's after they're looking at the work. 
right? Like, you mm-hmm. know, he's she's passing her to work. Oh, this looks great. This is wonderful. Da, 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 da. And then they have an aside moment Let me ask where it's you. like, you know, mm-hmm. so, you Let know, me... they're not, so, they're, they're, they're friendly yeah. enough. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. on the outside looking in, Jacqueline was like, yeah, so, it's just, she's telling her real friend mm-hmm. at the beauty salon, her homegirl. She's like, yeah. Um, so I work with this lady named uh, Angela. She's great at what she does. Mm-hmm. We've been working together for at least three years. Mm-hmm. Now we got now. I, I even took her to the new firm I went to go work for. Right. We're cool. Mm-hmm. We're work friends. Oh, I thought we were cool. Right. No, she it's knows, business for her. She knows I'm dealing it's with business. But Jacqueline says, telling her homegirl, her real friend. She knows I'm dating this guy. See, the problem oh, is... Oh, we're making this up. This yeah, is just... Yeah. Yeah. I'm making okay. this up. Okay. No. Hold but on, hold on. Let, let me cut you off, though. Let me cut you off. <laughs> only, be, only to say Jacqueline would never have that conversation. She's a boss. Mike. Jacqueline ain't talking to nobody about some guy that she's dating. That's not how she operates. Well, she saying. will tell you who she smashed. Mm. All right, so my only question... Mm-hmm. I, I've, I was only saying that to say this. Whether you're friends or not with somebody, mm-hmm. like it's, it's like a co-worker... Yeah, Can you come. You bringing your wife to a a, a, a function, mm-hmm. right? And your coworker starts to flirt with your wife. Wife is different. Hold your on. Wait a minute. The the, the person is okay. different, but then, all right, okay. Let me let me give mm-hmm. let me put in the same. You talking to a chick at work? Yeah. Right. And I see y'all all work together. Mm-hmm. All right. And you smashed her a couple times, and y'all kind of fell out. Mm-hmm. Now, the dude that you work with for the last two, three years, he ain't your homeboy. Y'all don't go golfing or, mm-hmm. or, or bowling on the weekends or yeah. hit, hit the bar. But now now he's hollering. Now he's hollering. That's A-OK. That's, I'm going to say, that's, I don't see, I don't that's think that's A-OK. wrong. And y'all be, I don't personally think yeah, that's wrong. That's A-OK. I, <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> what, you, to what you probably have to do, John, is you probably just have to rewind the tape to like being in your early to mid-20s. Right, which is everybody's dating everybody. I'm not talking you, about me. You know, just just people in general. Yeah, people not, in general like date within the circle. You know, like this is plenty of times that happens in the office. But there's times even where what about this is uh, a really good debate though. Mm-hmm. This is yeah, a really because good question mm-hmm. in the workplace, I'm not talking about me because me probably I don't right, 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 right. In the woman, workplace, it's, it's fair mm-hmm. game. But I'm saying the workplace fo- folks be fighting and. And, and and the work starts to mess up. I mean, the mm-hmm. reality comes in and fucks up the work because they yeah. competing for the same woman, or yeah. for the same man. Yeah. So it's not that. So someone like on uh, someone could look at Angela, but like you know, they was already having dinners with them. Mm-hmm. Go fuck with Gerard or yeah. Tyler, somebody else that's not attached to this other chick. Yeah. But she wants. Yeah. But it's... she she wants Marcus, and she has every right to pursue Marcus. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, and, yeah, then, and then and then kind of, mm-hmm. and then they living together, right? Yeah. And then he cheats on her with the chick that he met first. Right. I look at Angela how like, how dare be you be mad? Right, right mm-hmm. yeah. You slapped this nigga in his face? Mm-hmm. Look at how you got You ain't him. a victim? Yeah. You knew the well, game. Well, that's a I... good point. <laughs> that's my point. That's a good point. Thank you. So I, I don't agree, I'm but it's saying, a good point. I'm saying yeah, all this. It's a, yeah. it's a good point. I'm but, saying all this. Like, but, you know, and you said she knows who Marcus is. You know who this nigga is. But let me but but let me yeah. qualify it. Let me let me qualify it like this. Yeah, okay. Marcus and Angela's relationship is totally different than Marcus and Jackie's relationship. And that's what makes what Marcus did a breach of trust, right? They were together. Marcus was with Angela. They weren't dating. They weren't, you know, they they were together. They were an item. They were a couple. He stepped out on his woman. Mm. It's equivalent. It's equivalent. Mm, This is so tough. It's equivalent to a chick being the side chick and then becoming the main girl. And then the nigga goes out and gets a side chick. The but, but, only thing, but no. Angela was and never a side chick. She was, said what? She was never the side chick. She was. The, she was never the side chick. But I, the no, only thing I, I say have... it's equivalent to that because you know mm-hmm. it's a. For example, you know this nigga. Angela the, was just next when the, when the mm-hmm. chick when when the, when the chick is sitting here at an office full of mm-hmm. men and women, and mm-hmm. she knows this particular man probably just slept with five or six different women in this at, at mm-hmm. this company mm-hmm. before me. He's a player. We all know that. She mm-hmm. knows that right, he's a player. Right. And she don't knows, care. And she don't care until she try to make this nigga her dude, think, and then he go he he's still a player, and now she acting like she a that's victim. That's a good point. See, that's I, my right, saying. She has no right point. to she act knows. like she's a victim. Yes, but you was playing I feel a game like, and you want to get mm-hmm. serious with the player, mm-hmm. and now it's equivalent to a nigga say, "Hey mm-hmm. man, a five or six of the homies in hit, mm-hmm. or five or six yeah. of the co-workers hit." But now see, I'm making her my girl, but what, and now what, I find out that she's sleeping with somebody else on me. But so let me ask you this, John: What would be what would be a more appropriate response for her to have? I feel like her response was 100% correct with what had happened. She should have been like, 
you know what? I'm, I'm done. Gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm let you figure that out. I'm, but I'm, I'm done. out. I'm out. Well, 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 I'm sorry. Just basically, you, know, you are sorry. You sorry and you tired. And you tired. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's my fault, though. I said I already know that you. I should have known better. Yeah. That's you, what you should have said. You don't yeah. love me. You don't love Jackie. Mm-hmm. You love yourself. Self, right. Right. And I'm like mad you. at myself for falling for that shit. I'm out. Right. Boom. The only thing I will say, too, where things get a little bit complicated, too, when you when we're talking about is Angela wrong, is... When her and Jacqueline are talking about what Jacqueline did with Marcus, that way it becomes a little bit more personal mm-hmm. because it's like I kind of like let you in a little bit. So that's uh, that, that's a good point. That's a little that's different. A good point. But if we didn't, if you and I had no conversation about mm-hmm. this man, it, it's strictly been work for us. Mm-hmm. And yeah, y'all dated. Okay, whatever. That might be a little bit. The See, only, that, that's, that's and so the sad. only counter, the only yeah. counter that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. Uh, Tony Eloise is yeah. tripping today. Yeah. Yeah. The only counter that I'm I like, have mm-hmm. is that Jacqueline is hella liberal about who she tells she slept with, yeah. with Marcus. So it ain't that inner circle. Right. Right? Like, you know, because she, she tells obviously, anybody. No re- obviously, Jacqueline has no respect for this man either. Right. So... So it's technically not technically couldn't be wrong though. So it's not like because I let you Because if I already you know, in. like he's really just another like whatever mm-hmm. fling for you or whatever, like it's not really that. Let's do it again. Can I be wrong? I mean, am right. I necessarily wrong? That's that's a so question. So Jacqueline or Angela? Angela? Like, would she necessarily? If I know, like, this is just the fuck for you, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be. Is that wrong if I see him in a different light than what you see him no. as? Exactly. So but how is she you... wrong for dating dating him then? She's then? not. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought we were talking about that. Is, I mean, is she wrong for trying. getting mad that he cheated? That's what we were talking about. Oh, that's, that's what, what we were talking about. about. Oh, okay. And, and, and on, okay. on top of that, I Because we were like, talking about the code. Mm-hmm. We were talking about yeah, you, you don't you mess work. with colleagues and this and that and the third. So that's why I'm trying to understand. Like, It's messy. When is Yes, it's messy. And I think it's just, it's weird. In general, to be in a work setting and everyone's dating or whatever the case may be. But you I don't smashed. necessarily feel like she's wrong mm-hmm. for doing that. If you choose to do that, that is absolutely your business. And mm-hmm. it could get messy. It's weird or whatever. But I don't necessarily feel like she she's wrong. But because they did share certain things. Like if I'm talking to you about my sex life and I'm talking to you mm-hmm. about my sex life with this man, then it's like, okay, girl, so you knew we was dealing with each other. You yeah. knew we had relations and you went to go pursue him. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I know this is just a fling for you and he mm-hmm. don't mean anything to you and I see him in a different light than you do. Yeah. So, so how can you be wrong? And you gotta, and you gotta so, so how, be mad at me. And so how niggas are supposed to, how niggas have to do, right. men have to come to the homie and say some shit first. Mm-hmm. Before right. I know, I know y'all. I know y'all ain't doing. Y'all, 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 y'all not together no mm-hmm. more, right? Right. I know y'all not together no more. However, I'm interested, bro. Mm-hmm. Under Is what cool? circumstance, though? Either way, whether you're whether you're friends or like whether you're like Co-worker, colleagues as a man. who talk like yeah. this in general. Marcus or... Marcus gives an example of it in the movie. He's already he's he's breached protocol because he's already done it. He's already. But done when it. he has the conversation with but Gerard, that's his boy though. When he has the conversation. What if it's a colleague? He's kind of supposed to have that conversation with everybody, right? Right, with everybody. The way he's like, so it's you know, it's cool if she sees other people, right? Mm-hmm. That's the that's the playbook. Marcus is out of pocket because he had already smashed executed. Right, the play. Right, right, right. We knew he was <laughs> right, out right, of pocket. Before. We already knew, we before. already knew that. What you're supposed to do is how you gonna because Gerard like how you hook me up with a chick. Right, and then that, smash was, yeah, her that was afterwards. Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. oh, well, you, well, you gotta have all the girls. Y'all, yeah. y'all didn't really, you didn't really hit it off mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, right. man. But mm-hmm. she stopped talking to me. I still liked her, bro. Right, mm-hmm. that's understandable. I yeah. totally you know get, what I'm saying? I get and that. And you smashed yeah. her after that. Well, mm-hmm. she had already been was already mm-hmm. stopped dating you on her terms. But I still wanted her. I still wanted her. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so it's equivalent to like me asking the homie, bro. I know you all used to be together. You were such used to be mm-hmm. together. Y'all not together no more. How you feel about that? And he's like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. I'm, I, that's old news to me. Handle your business. Mm-hmm. She's an ex. Yeah, guys are. Guys or are like he that. could be like, bro, she dumped me, yeah. and I'm trying. I'm working my way back into her life. Guys are like that. You know what I'm saying for girls, for some reason, not not me. I'm not saying it's me because honestly, when I see that you've already had some, I just lose interest in general. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's just weird to me, like Angela to be a in a scumbag. work mm-hmm. to be. She didn't give a damn. <laughs> Angela to was like, I'm right next. Of, mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's that's just weird to me personally. But I know that there are women out there, not all women, but there are some are. that are okay with that because it's like, that's not my problem. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
how me and him are how he treats me or how you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying is different. So they don't and we're not friends. That's and mm-hmm. that's the thing about women too. Like our relationship, our code is not nothing like the bro code. Right. It's nothing like that. Right. And I respect the bro code. Like, I respect how y'all are as uh, men. Like, y'all mm-hmm. bro code. And I wish women were like that more. But we're not like that. Because for some reason, I don't know, maybe because it's the, what, to every one man, there's how many women? You mm-hmm. know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So maybe it's because, you know, are you our go? odds are Shit. already against us. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and we're like, dang, like. No survivor's remorse. We got to win. Survivor yeah. of the fittest. Like, <laughs> right. right. You see right. what I'm saying? A win is a win. Right. 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 A win right. is a win. You right. know, and like I said, like, oh, leftovers, where was a lot left over, yep. okay? Yep. Yeah. So. You know, there's a lot more meat on that bone. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> you know what I'm Right. We got to get to the awards. You, Damn. Dude, I know. I know. With awards. I know. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. With awards. I'll explain it. Oh, okay. Um, but, but do you. Let's let's get to the end of the movie and then we'll get into the Oh uh, yeah, what okay. we got on time. Damn, yeah. This I is know, getting see, good, right. man. We do um, twelve episodes. <laughs> on, on, right. We'll do a case study on each character. Right. Really mm-hmm. though. Because it's questions to ask. Like, yeah. is Angela wrong? Is right. Jacqueline wrong for doubling back? Right. And claiming the meat that she had before her. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, is she wrong for that? Is <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <No>. How soon? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love it. I'm saying, the best, is Marcus man. wrong? The best, how fast do they move in? How fast yes. after, you know, we right, don't know. I would say that we don't know. Like, you're the best. How was long his player, it been? Did he still have player residue? Yeah, because mm-hmm. honestly, think about it. In four months, she got a whole new job, career, and everything mm-hmm. in four months. Mm-hmm. I'm like, God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, did they move too fast? Was, 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 was Angela too naive and thinking that, okay, he just changed his ways that fast. Mm-hmm. I'm Because everybody want to change somebody. And like, here's mm-hmm. the thing. you I know Angela knows that Marcus knows that she knows. I know this is confusing. Mm-hmm. Marcus knows that Angela knows that him and Marcus and Jacqueline were smashing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they fell out. Yeah. yeah. So she he knows that she knows this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she still wanted the pipe in the relationship. Who? Hold on, wait a minute. Who? Angela still wanted yeah. the, Marcus still. But she, after, oh, okay. but she also helped him heal. Right? True, true. Which, which, well, maybe maybe that's why she took him back because she was like, I mean, sh- who was I to believe that he was? That's like, what I'm saying. Maybe that's why she took him back. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, no, I think Angela <sighs> genuinely deeply loves Marcus. Absolutely. I agree. I agree with that. But love is... Mm. Uh, and this is love a question because I, I have this... Okay, when it came to Jacqueline, Jacqueline, I don't know, I keep saying Jacqueline. That's Jacqueline, mm-hmm. do you feel like... He, do you feel like it was love or lust? Like, what was it? Like, how do you think he truly felt about Jacqueline? I think it was lust. Lust. It and, was and, lust. And, and, and the conquest. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. like, the other women... So, when we say lust, though, isn't, you know, what he did with the other women, was that not lust? Like, all the other girls that he... Yeah, it was all lust. But it was something different about her. So, Angela, could, it necessar- could it still be lust? With Angela? With, no, with oh, Jacqueline. Jackie. It, it's a less uh, uh, also the conquest. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's the his ego. Okay, the fact uh, the fact that he wants whenever he calls her, he wanted her mm-hmm. to be at his beck and call. When mm-hmm. he realized that he didn't have her like that, mm-hmm. he uh, she didn't, she wanted to watch the game, not talk to him. Yeah, and right. so she wanted to. She she missed the whole uh, the whole um, play. But remember, mm-hmm. he said. I don't know when he when um they got into it. He was like, you know how love goes, or something. And she said, "What do you know about love?" Mm-hmm. So did he did he think he loved her, or he loved Maybe. the idea I don't of think, her? I don't think. I don't think. And if he did love her, because he said he, love, and she's it's like, hard. Well, "Tell well, me what you yeah. know." When about I see love, people I talk about loving part. this person. Yeah. And what could you? What does she do to deserve love? the love? Mm. I'm, mm. Because Jacqueline didn't love him back. She right. didn't do anything. She didn't to, love him back. She didn't do really do anything to be loved. But it's boomerang. It's it's like. His I think he was infatuated by her. Infatuated, infatuated, infatuation, by her. lust, mm-hmm. and the conquest. Lust and the conquest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then he had never seen Angela, anything like her before. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And he and, and she was he, powerful. Mm-hmm. She yes. was powerful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she called shots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, and and, and he was she, just saying that it was perfect. Woman. They perfectly showed the mm-hmm. type of women he had been with. The yeah. Rashans, mm-hmm. the the uh, the um, Tisha Campbell character, mm-hmm. of the neighbor. He's not used to women like Jacqueline. Of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why mm-hmm. it was. It wasn't love. It was okay. like lust, infatuation, okay. and the conquest. Okay. And this is this is not an uncommon thing mm-hmm. with with guys. Like there are guys who will be in a marriage mm-hmm. and 
still have to like smash the one that got away. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, like the life like fully away. moved, but the one that got away, mm-hmm. the one that they didn't get to have mm-hmm. the way they wanted to have them. Right. And I'm not just talking about in terms of just like sexually. Right. But like whatever it is, like mentally or physically, I never, this is unfinished business. Unfinished right. business. Right? right. And yeah. that is what mm-hmm. Jacqueline was for Marcus. Unfinished business, she was yes. With a whole lot of consequence yeah. Yeah. and emotion attached mm-hmm. to it. Just like in cuddle season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And cuddle Facts. season, Demetrius. Tammy Facts. was not answering the phones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was tripping right. just because he wasn't answering them back. Right. No. And, and, and and lo and behold, like the previous year, he had been putting you on the back burner. Yeah. Or not you, but exactly. Tammy on the back burner. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden, you were so important. I'm going to give you every two Fridays yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. Because I right. had, you, you ain't been yeah. reciprocating my attention to you. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing with her. She wasn't giving him, him the attention that he's mm-hmm. he's used to. Yep. And he wanted it. He wanted, he wanted that conquest. Can't lose. Mm-hmm. Nah. Right. So and then fe- even yeah. after that, went back for one last smash uh-huh. when he has the epiphany. Mm-hmm. Boom. He has the epiphany. She's I don't want to be with you. Right. She's like, what? Right. Mm-hmm. The way and you're here with me. Why are you here with me? Good exactly. question. Exactly. Good question. And he dipped. And dipped went home, mm-hmm. snuck in the bed. Left her in a lingerie. And then... No, no. We're talking about at the end. So this is, this is after he gets caught, after... Love should have got oh, your yeah, ass home yeah. last love, night. Love should have brought your ass home last it was night. Great. Um, yes, and Holly. then and then he gets right. Then he gets mm-hmm. with Jacqueline one yeah, more time. One, yeah, one last has the epiphany that he doesn't want to be there. Right, because I the thought kids. this is where and, I wanted and, and, to be, but mm-hmm. whole time, like no, nah, yeah. the conquest Dang, is I not love, worth it. I yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, I love. Yeah, yeah I realized maybe, right at this I'm gonna say maybe he. And that's another thing. You Has he Ashley? ever known? Huh? You said Ashley. I said Ashley. Or either you said Ashley or actually. Actually, I don't know. That's a question to ask. Has he ever been in love? This is his first time. His day. Boom. Is this his first this time? This is his first time. So maybe right. he didn't know. Mm-hmm. And now he's realizing like, oh my gosh. Yep. This is love. Because, like, because I love her. You know when you love somebody, mm-hmm. when you hurt her feelings, or his feelings, but in this case, her mm-hmm. feelings, and you care. And you yeah. care. Like, he's he was okay with losing interest in a woman or a woman mm-hmm. not calling him or, or mm-hmm. disappearing. He's already mm-hmm. smashed. He's cool. Nah, I need her back in my life. When right. Angela walks out on him, he's forever changed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the first time, probably in his life, that he took the L. Right. I'm tired of me right? using like that, love. That, that, he, that he had to take the L. Even like if he mm-hmm. had taken L elsewhere, he was able to masquerade it or shift it into something mm-hmm. else. Right. He's fundamentally different when she walks out on him. Right. And, like, and she and, didn't come back. And did not come back. Right. And she was not into it. Mm-hmm. Right. Slapped his ass. Right. Like the whole mm-hmm. nine. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, then, probably, he's probably never been in that position yes. before. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's always been smooth, even mm-hmm. on the exit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this time she's exiting. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and both time, both women left him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These two powerhouses. Yep. Yeah. But yep. one, he couldn't, he wanted the other one back too. He wanted Jacqueline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when he got her back, he was like, this ain't where I really want to be. Yeah. Angela's mm-hmm. where I want to be. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So really, really, when it's all said and done, I, I'm, I make jokes about Angela being grimy mm-hmm. and Jacqueline <laughs> and Marcus, everybody being kind of everybody. grimy. But when it's all said and done, they all grimy. Yeah. But you can still <laughs> find love out of there. Yeah. You mm-hmm. can still find yeah. love. And I, and I feel like Jacqueline, I mean, Angela and Marcus will be. Successful I feel like in it was their an relationship. Love yeah, too. yeah. Mm-hmm. They yeah. went through their bumps and bruises to yeah. finally they came out. Mm-hmm. Neither one of them came out unscathed. Yeah, and they they realized, okay, give me a second chance. And Angela deserved. He deserved a second chance. Yeah, honestly, yeah. because of how 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 they got yeah. together in the first place. Like especially if you know I, I got this reputation of doing this. That you come I'm, on, now. I'm, come on. Mm-hmm. I messed I'm up. I'm liable to yeah. fi- to to mess up. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Stall me out. Yeah. Baby. That's, that's how like call like, me out. Former players usually have strong ass women. Mm-hmm. Right. You like, gotta you know, be. Like, like you gotta be. Ooh, and but can't. that's real mm-hmm. because it's always that one that calls you out on your yeah. bullshit. It's the one that ain't impress that holds you yeah. accountable. Mm-hmm. That right. you know will leave. Those wind up in the that you know will yeah. not play the yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, as much as she yeah. loves you, mm-hmm. she'll love as you. As much as I love you, yeah. I will leave your ass yep. right now. You better and she left. Act, and she stayed right. gone. Yep. Yes, you know what I'm saying, and yep. she stayed gone. She quit her job. Yeah, yeah, she quit her job. She was done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, how dumb, dumb one you. last little quick note before we get into the awards. Mm-hmm. Um, not only is Boomerang the best, um, yes, black. Rom com of all time. Can it has the best soundtrack. Come on, oh, man. Oh, my come gosh. on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Yes. All time. Yes. I was thinking that too. There you go. There you go. There you 
Jima. Jima. Come on, man. You got love, Jima. You home. Yeah, yeah Tony right. Braxton. Yeah, Should have been with me. Scott, end of the yeah. road. Should have been right by my side. Baby. Let's not get oh, past end of the road. She got a little rumble in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You hear it? Look, from the whole time. Look, mm-hmm. from Brado. I've been doing okay. I didn't even know you could do that. Ooh. Okay. And PM Dawn. Come we, on. They even had, they even had Boys to Men. Yeah. Boys to Men was in there, yeah, too. Into the Road. Into the Road. Into the Road was on there. Yes. Yes. Into the Road and yeah. PM Don. PM Don, my when, favorite shit. Listen, Die if, if you want to bottle up my high school angst, of yeah. like being brokenhearted and mm-hmm. infatuated yeah. with some girl that either yes. lives too far or don't want me. Uh-huh. PM Dawn's PM I Die Dons. Without You and End of the Road yes. on rotation. On rotation. Yeah. On rotation. Uh-huh. Fantastic yes. soundtrack. Yes. yes it's yes, the indeed. best. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's get into awards. Awards. Okay. We're going to award the MVP. Which character oh. is the most valuable character in Boomerang? Angela. Well, I'm going to say Angela. <laughs> Hands <laughs> Down. <laughs> Give me some hands down. Yes, Angela. She is the yeah. pillar. She Dang. is the most necessary mm-hmm. character in the film. And yes. you would not have seen that coming. But yeah. when you no. really break it down oh, like yeah. this. Yes, yes. Like, I yes. look at Angela in a totally different she's light the now. She's still, she's still the truth. She's the instruction and, manual. But, she's she's everything. And as much as, you know, I... I, I I and talk this is shit why about people her. love Halle Berry. Mm-hmm. Man, Boomerang. she was uh, gritty. Mm-hmm. She was she was sweet. She was innocent. Mm-hmm. She was gritty. She was yeah. messy. Yes. <laughs> and when it was all said and done, she was, she was a real woman. She was a real What's a, and a real woman to me yeah. is all of those. Yeah. She can get down and dirty. She can play the game if she mm-hmm. wants to. Yeah. And when she loves, she loves hard. Yeah. And when she's done, she's done. Dang. She's, she's not, everything. She, she's not somebody you can so fuck with. So in case with, people can. wondering why, you know, we love Halle Berry and Boomerang, this is it right, right here. And the yes. only thing that I would say is I want to work like a... A less significant, a less weighty word for messy, because I don't feel like she was as messy as you, right? <laughs> so, but I, but I want to give you, I want to give you a portion of the messy, so, like an unkept feels like it's like it swings too far over. When you smash a coworker's other uh, guy that she Fuck smashes, that bitch. Right, right. <laughs> but y'all working the same. Y'all work together. It's not like y'all work down. And the, you get all the dirty details. Buildings. You get all the details on him. Like, oh, so how mm-hmm. was it? Yeah, and they were. And so close. what happens? Is, what happens if it, cr- it came back into the workplace? Mm-hmm. And so this is how messy it got. She quit her job, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. she quit her job. Yeah. She couldn't stand it was to look messy. at. She couldn't go back after that. She couldn't look at Marcus or Jacqueline yeah. again. They was yeah. messy. They yeah, was they messy. were messy too. She wasn't. Because what do you think? No, yeah, Tom. They, they were really. Yeah. They. Well, I get it. I understand your point. I like, but but to look at that, like to me, it's just kind of like. Uh, like petty theft. You like don't 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 charge that, right? Like you know, nah. she's she's perfect. I do want to do a she quick shout perfect, out. Though. I do want to do a quick shout out. And I want to hand her flowers, Robin Givens. Yeah. Robin Givens. Right? We would we would remember her more if it wasn't for the Mike Tyson shit yeah. because this role was, was perfect. awesome and she and she it. was so she good at it, it. and it's because we don't so like good, her like yeah it's because we don't like her right. because of like how we Berry feel like she over Charm, you know Mike Tyson yeah swag like everything about her like mm-hmm. I was even watching the way she was she spoke yeah the way mm-hmm. she. It, it was casted perfectly. Yeah. It was perfect. As an actor, I'd be like, when I see certain male um, mm-hmm. roles, I'd be like, damn, he did it so yeah. smooth. Can I even yeah. get into that? Yeah. Man, she, yeah. she murdered that. She As was an great. executive, like just everything. Mm-hmm. She was just, she, she was, was with so the business flawless. too. Mm-hmm. She was great. And she, when, when she wanted it, she mm-hmm. got it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, before we even get to that, that's why you're here. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've had Ayana the artist on the show before. Mm-hmm. I've had uh, Jada Fade on the show before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we've discussed uh, in our awards, we give like, uh, re- we used to do recasting, but mm-hmm. that would take a whole, whole other half an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we don't do recastings okay. anymore as far as like conversation at the yep. end of the episode. But okay. um, we get, we, we do have. Like who would, re- who, if it brought If, if, if back, I was to recast they, it now, uh, okay. mm-hmm. I would have. I'm uh, Halle Berry, by the way. Look at, hold on. So you listen, listen, listen. Out there right now. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so I promise you. And, and before, <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. You got Jacqueline vibes. Wait, 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 you got Jackie vibes. Wait, 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 wait. You got Jackie vibes. Wait, wait, wait. That's wait, wait. so but, funny. But because I work with her uh-huh. a, a good amount of times, we yeah. work together so many times, I'm like, I can see 
that Angela character for sure. It's see, always especially when I met her, her hair was short. Yeah, yeah. my yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So I, I see her, and, and if you, I don't know if you see any any of my sketches mm-hmm. with her in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She definitely, but that's my, the thing is, mm-hmm. I can see with Jacqueline. He can see you as. I mean, I can see you as An, uh, Angela. You can see me as Jack. And, that's good. I love and, that. And so, yeah. I, so because I'm smooth like that I too. Now. Don't do get it both. twisted. Yeah. See, that's Jackie right there. That's Jackie. I'm smooth like that. That's Jackie. No, but it's so it's that's so funny because. When I'm taking acting classes, my first circle of casting is always Holly Berry. It's mm-hmm. all it's always the Holly Berries, mm-hmm. and I, that's a compliment because she yeah, she's yeah, dope. Of but course. yeah, I, that's always see because what because what Halle Berry does in this movie, and again, like I've just been able to sit for like last hour or so yeah. and just get all your strength, mm-hmm. right? Like you're making your points, you know, yeah. and that's all Jackie shit, uh, right? Like you know, right. like I'm a boss too now. Like it, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but like like Angie like Angie. Angela Halle Berry holds her strength back. Right. She got just as much strength as everybody else, but she's right. able to keep it at seven long enough because, and this goes to the point, like, if she was operating at 10, it would have been obvious. Right. So what, it would have right. been, it would have been messy. And, and it's sweet. so funny you yeah. say that. And I relate to Halle more is because when I am, when I'm in the room with other people, like mm-hmm. just just say other talented mm-hmm. girls or beautiful girls, sure. I'm always the one that's, and it may not, I mean, people may not believe this, but I am always the one that's overlooked. Mm. Like I'm always that one, mm. you know? And then it's like, what they say, like that that song you've been skipping over and then you find out that it's a fire song. Yeah. Like that's literally how I've always been all oh. of my life. And I think that's, that's another mm. reason why I rock with her so much in this movie because mm-hmm. of that. And I think... Halle Berry is society. She's Hollywood's beauty. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so is Robin Givens. Mm-hmm. So yeah, at that point, you'd be like, mm-hmm. if if we're going to have Halle Berry play the overlooked co-worker, mm-hmm. who can we get to? Mm-hmm. It has yeah. to be someone like Robin Givens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or Vanessa Williams back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It would have to be one of those yeah. two uh, actresses because yeah. who was going to play, who was going to be that engaging, that stunning mm-hmm. to make you overlook Angela's character? Yeah. So mm. I think I think your character, you as a uh, what I know of you as I see, I've seen you be assertive in, mm. in certain characters mm-hmm. that we, I've seen you play, yeah. and I've seen you play like the very easygoing, nice sweetie <laughs> sweetie pie. Mm-hmm. So I see her as Angela or Jacqueline for sure. Okay, right. and because she's such, she, she, she's such a dope ass actress, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, she can play the neighbor girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend. I hope your dick falls off. <laughs> dick falls you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and yeah. that was... Yeah. Would you like to come over for a cup of coffee? <laughs> right. Uh, right. Because you, <laughs> you, you, you play Chrissy? Because you play Chrissy? Yes, she could. She could do that. I, I promise you, my plan was to tell you at the end of this episode that yeah. I, I would have, I, I would catch you for any of the women in the, in the film. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, that's I, super uh, dope. As Leela Rashad. Mm-hmm. Girl, uh, hey, mm-hmm. knock, knock. knock. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Like I, I can see you playing that character too. Boy named Marcus. Cool. Yeah. Uh, from Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> so you when I that. hit you, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do boomer. I gotta have a woman on. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. Let me see what Ashley. Yeah. Is she, is, yeah. She, is she available? Cool. Yeah. Star and Marcus. I'm glad you work. Thank you so much. Yeah. For being here. No, LVP. I you still got LVP. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, yeah. LVP. 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 Who's the least valuable? Character in the movie. That's hard. That's tough because they all so had tough. their own mm-hmm. lane. Like mm. that's so least tough. viable player. That's that's I tough. Even, I don't even think it I exists. can't even say that. And only if I, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. Mm-hmm. I have to force it. Bony T. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bony T or Martin or um. No Tyler. No no. We we need Tyler because Tyler, yeah. Tyler is him. the Tyler is the 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 rough edged. Yeah, the 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 mm-hmm. obnoxious. I love their we, scenes we, together. We, we needed yeah. to see because they because because Boney T and Tyler were very obnoxious men. Yeah, so we needed all okay. different types of men. So black are we men. talking about? Okay, see, I'm thinking. I mean, Boney T for sure is still a viable player, but I was thinking from the main cast, like the main main ones, mm-hmm. okay. the ones that you see very often. That's what I was thinking about. Okay, I get I get that. Boney Boney T. Yeah. Yes, I forgot. I, see, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Bonnie C. Because he was only, but he did like his thing. Times. But he, he gives us, but he thing. gives us the iconic line: first the fat boys break, break up, and now this, this. right? Yeah, like, like, that's a but great line. I, I, I can't see us. So you feel like he's the least valuable player? Yeah, 
Oh, only because he's he's not in the movie that much, and so it, right. so basically the, the, the least valuable player is if if they did, weren't in the movie would be missed. Will mm-hmm. we miss them? That's right. the only. Right. That's okay. why I say that. Like, yeah. okay. I mean, um, the only thing, and this is this is yeah. easy, but like I would take the whole like uh, the guy from when they when they're shopping for a coat. Oh right? yeah, that, like, like oh, that the white like, boy. Yeah, that whole like, you can get rid of that whole scene. That scene even, was great though. It was yeah. good, but but you can give me more John Witherspoon mm-hmm. or give me yeah. you know what I mean like more bony tea, more bony tea, bony tea was yeah. hilarious. More Lila Rashawn, so more thank Grace, you. more Strange, thank you, more Nelson. Though a white dude, um, we don't have any cash in the store. Yeah, that guy is less valuable than bony tea. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. This should be easy. Uh, time for the awards. Overacting. Um, Oh, who overacting award? Like overacted, like you was doing too much, or like did amazing, like phenomenal. Do, like doing too much. Doing too much. Doing too much. Um, doing too much. Uh, I'm gonna doing go. Doing too much. Um, uh, Lily Rashawn. <laughs> oh, the girl. No one's mm-hmm. that ditzy at that age. Knock yeah. knock. Knock knock. A scary little, little boy little. named Marcus. Him and he's her. Been hurt has her or Strange. Yeah. Sean J. No, Sean yeah. J. was funny, man. Like <laughs> over the top, taking her panties yeah. off. Yeah. Like, the I was, Smith, this pussy. Yeah. Who don't want what this? What if that wasn't in the script? What if she just ad lib that? She's a beast for that. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I doubt yeah, it. I yeah, doubt yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt she yeah. had to take her real panties off and put it on someone's face. I doubt that he would mm-hmm. go for that it's, unless he was a savage. It's he probably would. obviously, yeah, overacted. And so I'm, but but. Only he can overact <laughs> this way. This is my man John Witherspoon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like you know, like yeah. Everything is over the top. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? Like you know, yeah. Rudy, toot, toot. From from Rudy, toot, toot. <laughs> bang, like, bang, bang. You know. did, did he do this before Friday or after? Oh, before. This mm-hmm. is ninety two. This mm-hmm. was before Friday. Friday was ninety five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ninety five, ninety six. So yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. so that's yeah. probably why. In their mind too, they probably thought of that role for. But if you, but and well. John Witherspoon was a, a comic first, a comic. Mm-hmm. so he, he he was like that on stage. Mm-hmm. He's bang 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 motherfucker. You know what I'm he was that guy on stage. So mm-hmm. he, okay. he, he, so as an actor too, he's he brought all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just he just doing him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. he just doing him. Um, awards, uh, five black fists. Boomerang is an all time classic. Uh, on a scale of five to one. How do we rank Boomerang? Five. Amen. Hands down. Fucking ten. Ten, <laughs> ten <laughs> black fish. Ten. Fifteen yeah. black fish. For sure. And, 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 Everything yeah. was executed mm. out to I perfection, feel like, I feel like. And I feel like black excellence, every, everybody, yes. even in their treachery. The talent even, was amazing. They were, uh, they were, um, they were success. They were business people. They were yeah. Yeah. professional people. And they had good jobs. And it was believable. Mm. Believable. It was so yeah. believable. Yeah. You I will. I will. This is my last hot take. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What we got? I've got a developing hot take here. Okay. And we don't have time to tackle it now. Okay. But we might have to tackle it in the future. Mm-hmm. Okay. When I used to think about my like my favorite black director or the greatest black director of all time, mm-hmm. I usually default to Spike Lee. Right. Okay. I think most people kind of think about, like, it'd be Spike. Mm-hmm. But as we were doing this podcast, mm-hmm. I'm realizing that my favorite movies are directed by Reginald Hutton. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. House Party is one of my favorite yeah. movies. Dang, All of my tough. favorite and stuff. And two different types of Two movies. different yeah. types of Two different movies. energies. But Hud- but like Hudlin, everything that he does is on my favorites list, mm. right? And I yeah. and, and I only have one favorite movie from Spike, which is Malcolm X. I don't know that you, you that have could be one a podcast favorite movie? in general. One. That could be yeah. a podcast in general. You talking about the mm. directors? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that would so, be dope. I'm giving mm-hmm. Hudlin his flowers because yeah. House Party is a certified oh my gosh, classic, right. and yes. Boomerang is the best black rom com ever made. Like and exactly, put some respect on don't his name. Get enough flowers yeah. as they should. I agree. Put some respect on his name. They really should get their flowers. Okay. Agatha. <laughs> Agatha. I walked in. I said, "Oh, you should look like one of Marcus girls. <laughs> like one of Marcus girls." Dang. That's, every time I see you for the rest of my life, mom I mean, is wild yeah. for that. Yeah, he looked like one of Marcus mom girls. Is wild girls. for that. <laughs> so that so he had to grow up hearing that, mm-hmm. knowing that Gerard. That is. Yeah. yeah he said, yeah, "Marcus." I love that scene too. By the way, he mm-hmm. was like, "Man, Marcus, why do you have to have all? Why do you girls? have to have all, yeah. man?" Yeah, that it was, was good. So, that yeah. was tough. But they were great. They had a great friendship. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we didn't talk he about that. He had the right. See how y'all yeah. get over it? But see how y'all, like, it's like, we ain't even got to do much, too much talking. You mm. know, I'm sorry. All right, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't even got to explain yourself. It's cool. It's all love. Women yeah. are not like that. Damn, yes. And that's yeah. the topic for another day. Dang. But it's, it's yeah, the the bro code versus the girl code is just. Because it's interesting how, how Tyler, a.k.a. Martin, all he needed to do was fry some chicken and open the door, and he knew they would handle that and shit themselves. Right. Out his, his you know price. what I mean? Like you know, but even 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 in his wildness, he was obnoxious. He was a yeah. douchebag type dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. He got a stitch. But out. but he was a loyal friend. Yeah. Great friend. And he was like, when well, even when he, at the bowl at the pool hall, mm-hmm. he was like, "What you do, man? Yeah, what you do, man? What you do, man? Yeah. No, no, no." Yeah. Y'all gonna yeah. work this out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hug. Matter of fact, hug. Hug. Yeah. yeah. We already did one, one, one big fucking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just interesting. That's real friendship. Yeah. That's real. Like how that career is. arcs go. Because in that, mo- in that movie, you've got Eddie, you know, and then everybody else. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of years later, they're acting in life and they're both at the same level. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, you mm-hmm. know, Martin was just about to get up, get, get rocked. Upgraded. Yeah. He yeah. became Darnell. Who's Darnell. smoother. Yeah. Darnell mm-hmm. from a uh, thin line between love and hate or Marcus Graham from Boom Easy call. Yeah. Easy. Easy call. Easy. Right. Yeah. I'd be interested. The New York player or the yeah. LA player. I'd be interested Dang. to do like a Mount Rushmore of players. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like Marcus Graham, Marcus Dre Ooh. from How to Be a Player, mm-hmm. yeah. Darnell. Yeah. Does, does Darnell, we, we did, when we did the movie, Darnell catches L's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put Darnell on there. Dang. Who else? Could well, it? shit. So did uh, Bill Bellamy too. Dre caught yeah, L's too. Like, like, t- and so did uh, so did Marcus. Only the, <laughs> right. so, hey, Angela saved his ass. Yeah, because yeah. he, but, lost, he lost all. He lost both his chicks. Yeah. So mm-hmm. so so Angela one hundred percent gets Mount Rushmore of 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 maybe like favorite female characters ever. Like in terms of you, nigga. <laughs> this nigga loves Angela. She's the best, man. I, she's you know, dope. She's dope, Every but for not for the reasons you say she is. Angela. I, I, I'm calling her dope in all her flaws. Yeah. He's calling her flawless. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Look I at mean, him. even because even if even if okay, fine. I see both fine. perspectives now. It's let's hard say, for me. Let's say you let's say you just take out of the equation Angela's relationship with Jackie mm-hmm. and just the way Angela deals with Marcus. That's like she's getting like a ninety eight on that test, right? Like you know, like she's she's Flawless good, victory. she's loyal, <laughs> she's non judgmental. You know what I mean? Like you know, she's helpful. She's looking out for the man's career. You know what I mean? Like yeah, damn, she nah, she, she checks right, a so lot of boxes. She, no, 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 no. Angela is a woman that you need in your life. Absolutely, mm-hmm. she's a wife. Yeah. Of, she's wife of material. Yeah, and because she can play the game up until she wins, and mm-hmm. then you can cheat. In the game, literally, mm-hmm. and she can still win at the end. Mm-hmm. Angela loved the kids. She mm-hmm. let the kids. Mm-hmm. She let you hit first night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> here's the thing. And here's the thing. I was women, ladies, ladies that smash on the first date or the first encounter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all still wifey material. Yeah, not yeah. judging. Hey, I, I, I do not judge. Oh, I, I respect and love mm-hmm. you for those because it takes because you can still be wifed. Because you can still be wifed. And just because you smashed on the first date, because she knew what she wanted. You got to test drive it before saying. you buy it off the yeah, lot Yeah, she. I, I, I didn't look at her no different than <laughs> no. any other woman. Like no. she, Angela was a good woman. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying she was. She was. Uh, she had a good career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She saw a man that she was interested in, mm-hmm. and despite mm-hmm. him smashing the homegirl, the coworker, mm-hmm. she still wanted some. She got it, and she still got wiped at the end, what, as she should. Listen, she did something very important that I think most women, and I'm, I, I want to be careful not to fall into mansplaining territory. But she did something very important on the plane when she told him, I dig you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like you. That takes a lot of guts. Right? No one like, as you're pursuing another yeah. chick. No one like that you know, she knows. But just so you know, I'm feeling you too. So mm-hmm. I'm about to say, so what happens if Angela hit and didn't catch feelings? Ooh. Like would she still be like wrong? She's savage. <laughs> Oh, I love yeah. that. But she had already caught feelings. I'm a real one. She caught feelings day one. Yeah. yeah. She was she was she she dug him from the time she saw from, him. From she from the time she met him at the party. Right. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was more than just lust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She dug everything about him. Yeah. Swag, you know what I'm saying? She loved and him. yeah. So and she went after and she was and she was down to let him yeah. fuck around with another chick yeah. Yeah. in the she meantime. Get it out your system. And, until you find get me. Out your yeah. But then once she found him, <laughs> she tripped. Once he found her, she tripped when he dipped off again. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. oh, you nigga. thought it was supposed to stop when it when it when it was me, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what, that's yeah, I see. But but if you but if you think about it, man, we, could, we could talk mm-hmm. for another hour. But if you think about it, her biggest beef was was that like the fact that you're still in love with with it, with Jackie yeah. while you fucking with me. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like what I'm really upset about, right? But, like you know, was that you're not keeping but, it a hundred. But she's not even keeping it keeping it a hundred with herself because Angela, he stopped dealing with Jacqueline because she wasn't giving him enough attention. Mm-hmm. And he felt like he wasn't valued to her. He didn't cut her off with her because he did was he was uninterested. Hold on, with her. say that again. You said Marcus that. Graham stopped dealing with Jacqueline because she wasn't giving him the time that she that he wanted from her. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. she amongst was, other things, amongst yeah. So she put that thing on him. She she put that thing on him, and he wanted some more of it, but she wasn't <laughs> willing. To, oh, she he realized, oh, you only giving it to me when you want it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying, and, and, you, and you telling everybody, and you about kind it. of passing me around yeah, too, yeah, like I'm a flip. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't like that. I don't like the way you're making me feel. Yeah. You got me out here feeling like a flip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A six strong J on me. Where we call where I'm from, we call that we call that a toss up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you got me out here feeling like I'm a toss up. Yeah, and so he his ego didn't like that, so he, yeah. he quit on her. Mm-hmm. But he he didn't quit on her as if. I'm done talking to you because you're not for me. Right. He's like, you don't want me. You don't want me the way I want, want you. you yeah. And so I'm done. Mm-hmm. So Angela knew that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Angela knew that, mm-hmm. and she still pursued him. Gave him yeah. some box. Then, then, then they, After, got, then they moved in together. Yeah. Yeah. And then he dipped off. After and she messed rehabilitated. With and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after. The, all that happened, mm-hmm. she, he went off and dipped off into Jacqueline again, and she started tripping. Yeah. yeah. Now she's pissed off. Uh, you kind of know the nigga had eyes for her from the jump. Yeah. But you know like saying? you said, mm-hmm. she the didn't same realize way, it was just some unfinished business. Mm-hmm. It's this, a male yes, thing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, Get yes, out of yes, yes, yes. The yeah. same way you was dealing with Gerard, yeah. but you really wanted him. Yeah. yeah. But I respect the way I think she left. She, like yeah. I, like I respect like it's almost kind of like you know you got to play the hand that you're dealt. And you right? know what? She, she hated left, the nigga what, though. So she left with too, she left with too much animosity. What's so her. funny is she left that up for them to deal with. You see, they they didn't mm-hmm. even bring it to her. Like he didn't even address her or nothing. She she left that. Y'all gonna deal with that? I don't mm-hmm. care. Y'all got to deal with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to explain that to him. <laughs> mm. You you're talking about uh, Angela. Cause they didn't, you know, they you didn't get from her perspective, or if Gerard approached her, it was a bro, it was literally they settled that between the bro. Like she wasn't even, mm-hmm. she wasn't tripping over the fact of, oh, that's your friend, or you know what I'm saying? Like, she, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. what happens if he finds out? Or she didn't care. That's why yeah. is she a shady. She, she did now man. that now that yeah. She, yeah look at him, yeah, he don't want to give it. So you you <laughs> that, are you saying care. that is Angela wrong for not telling Gerard who pursued her, who liked her that? It's just not gonna work out between us. She might have said that. They both decided to be friends, but I, you know I'm what? Now I'm sleeping with Marcus. Now, see the only she should have said something. The, she should. And the only she, reason, she the only watch reason him, why him, why I, why I like slightly give you this <laughs> is because she did kiss him, even though it was a peck, yeah. right? Like you know, right. just a just a, a fluff Chinese dinner mm-hmm. is not one that I need to show up with a treaty of 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 yeah. am- amistad, right? But the fact that she kissed him, but, and but the, should her his boy have told her him that first before she did? Like I could see if he told oh, her, yeah. and then she come no. to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, Marcus told you about us, whatever the case may be afterwards. But that mm-hmm. that should be between Marcus the boys owed, first, right? Owed the conversation to him more than she did, right? Exactly. Yes, but the fact that he came. Angela was there at that dinner at Marcus's house because of Gerard. Mm-hmm. Not as his girlfriend, not as his girlfriend, yeah. but as his friend. As his friend. Yeah. Even she was, they were both telling the parents, yeah. just friends. Just yeah. friends. Just friends. Just so, friends. So, the, so they had the, already had a conversation that they were just friends. Yeah. Right. But at that at that point in time, the parents were thinking they were more than that because she was there with him. Mm-hmm. Look like one of Marcus' girls. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so she should have told him, hey, man, I'm about to go become one of Marcus' girls. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, she shady for that, man. Yeah. Oh, but still love and, you. And she's still the MVP. She's still the MVP she's and she's still, still amazing. Yep. But she but she ain't perfect. She's not. No. And that's even more reason why she should have took him back. Yeah. And she did. Yeah. And it worked out. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it came back around like a boomerang dub. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> nice. I just want y'all to know this is my last episode of Blackbusters. I'm what? starting the Agatha Appreciation Podcast. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Well, we won't have to deal with the Look at this. Like, a whole yeah. a, episode fifty eight. Yeah. They're still talking about Agatha and how yeah. nice she is. <laughs> John yeah. got me in here like like Marcus. Yeah, like, I mean, I stood up, my arms. 
<laughs> Man, Boomerang is a great film. I'm gonna watch it again tonight. Just cause yeah. I used to, I used to watch it almost every day for yeah. like, yeah. for maybe like uh, I, when I used to do when I, I used to be on tour, mm-hmm. uh, doing security, and yeah. I, every night I used to throw it on before I went to sleep. Yeah, in my bunk or in my hotel room. Yeah, I either had it on my computer, my iPad, it. or on the TV. Mm-hmm. I was that's so it's, it's just it's a, a great, yeah. yeah, written well and it's clean. Yeah. It's like. There's no wasted scenes. Mm-hmm. Every character no. did yeah. their job. The even prototype. the small character, even the strong yeah. Jays, the Moni T's, the, the Nelsons. Mm-hmm. We love those characters so much. I, I, even the small, the scene that we could do without, which is the the, the men's uh, clothing store, mm-hmm. that was still a dope ass That's still a great scene. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Marcus. I mean, Marcus Graham, Eddie mm-hmm. Murphy, uh, Tyler. Martin Lawrence mm-hmm. and Gerard playing by David Allen Greer, Halle Berry, yeah. and Robbie Gay. They killed that shit. Killed Tisha Campbell it. with her cameo. Yeah. Murdered yeah. iconic yeah, ass did. scenes. Yes. She did. I love every, everybody did their thing, man. Yes, they did. Yeah. I loved it. Um, thank you so much, yes. Sister Chastain, for uh yes. coming out and, yes. and reviewing this film thank with us. Y'all for uh me. shout out to Reggie Hedlund again for doing it, making another banger. Yes. Of course. <laughs> uh that's our episode, man. Yeah. Uh Big Ja. Tony Eloise. Tony Ashley Chastain. Yes, Yammy indeed. Tammy. Yeah, me, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, me, Tammy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actress extraordinary. And you're working on the project right now, right? Yes, I am. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's what, what I was trying to tell you. This project is so good. Like, I'm so happy you got me to be on this podcast because the movie that I'm working on, um, it's a lead role, and she actually has two love interests herself. Uh, oh, see? Player, player. Yeah. See? Oh, uh-huh. you, get to, you get to do this and in real life? And it's because it's lust and love, and it's even from the sex scenes, it's sex scenes. It's Uh-oh. two sex scenes. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why you're in that gym looking right. Yeah, oh, looking oh, right. But listen, <laughs> listen, when I told you, I was like, I got to stay ready so I don't have to get ready. I didn't even know that this oh, is what I've been training for. I didn't have it yet. Dope. So I was like, look, at, look at God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Just got to get this back right. You mm-hmm. know, we're going to be good. You're hilarious. You, you look great. Got to get it right. Um, that's dope. Congratulations on the project. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Um, Dave, you, I'm, I'm sure you're going to knock it out the park. I'm excited. Uh, yes, indeed. As you should be. Once again, thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, we'll definitely have you back. You know, yes. if you're willing to come on back, yeah, yeah. we gotta figure let's get out some ladies. Like, just get like three you know, girls and three know. guys, and let's just go at it. Too, too, too many of y'all. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, so, so you know, hey, hey, I promise you, I promise you, my, my goal was, my goal was to hit you ahead of time and yeah. let you know she was coming. Yeah, he was like, man, you got, you got a woman when you bring these girls on. See, because <laughs> listen, man, like I've gotten a lot better. You are the most comfortable. I'm my most comfortable. With with the guests because like Jack brings these like amazingly beautiful women yeah. from from his world in uh-huh. and they and they don't tell me yeah. right so like uh-huh. so then it's just like oh shit I come around the corner bombshell ah. like now I gotta <laughs> hey, like I gotta I, I gotta get tight I say, I, but maybe but, tried to figure out where he find them from where yeah. he find them they but but, all the time, man. but now now I'm cool because now I just kind of expect it right yeah. so like mm-hmm. so now I'm much more comfortable oh. but like you like, didn't know I was co- he didn't know I was coming no, he didn't John now you know you you supposed to tell him they be setting me up man they be setting me up I was supposed to and then. You had to dress mm-hmm. on. I said, "Oh shit!" Yeah, <laughs> and, and I gotta sit on this side of the yeah. table. I gotta sit on this side of the table. Right. It's fucked up. It's it's fucked up. Never That's again. Yeah. This, this is the last time, bro. Yeah, the last straw. You might gonna cuss me out. Yeah, the nah. The they trying to set. They trying to set me nah. up. Say, go star Never for Tony. Go star for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get you. I will. I will let you know. Next go time she come, yeah. I'm gonna let you know ahead of time. Nah, it's actually good, man. Yeah. Like you know because. uh <laughs> it's 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 great fun and again like like yeah. like I get to watch you guys' world you know from from that perspective and every mm-hmm. and everything is 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 awesome but but I love and I think this kind of has to be whenever we get into like that rom com you brought so much perspective yeah you know because normally like we would have had a you and I and mm-hmm. maybe even another guy would have had a totally different conversation mm-hmm. yeah than we have so. right yeah. nah for sure yeah. and um Ghost Star and for Ashley. Go, go start for Ashley. <laughs> The podcast was hey, yummy. And she the podcast so was yummy. I, I said, I was what? so nervous yeah. about you are this. A monster. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. Like, I was nervous. Knock, knock. <laughs> I see a nervous little girl, <laughs> girl named, named Ashley. <laughs> Stop it. Yes. Yes. No. Hilarious. <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. So That's great. I love it. <laughs> on that note, oh we are gosh. we are going to um, stop the show, close yeah. the episode off by saying thank you all for tuning in. Thank Catch you. us next time. Um, we'll bring Sister Chastain back and uh, we'll see y'all next time man Blackbusters yeah. be good or be good at it we'll be out of here man peace, peace. Pew, <laughs> to the max <laughs>
Blackbusters. <laughs>